the Swamp Witch that's going to be investigating with us tonight. This is going to be an amazing co collaboration. Um, she's such a kind soul. She's such an amazing invest, uh, investigator. And she wanted to come to the Ritz Theater. So we're here at the Ritz Theater in Ogden. Um, we chose this location because A, it's heated. And B, we're not going to have to worry about any trespassers because we've got Neil up there and they won't be able to enter like so we're good thank you f so much for that I like a tidal wave i love it you guys are so cool i love you guys um but neil's gonna be here making sure that we know i have no trespassers so we're at a location with the team and i assure you tonight there will be no trespassers so everything you see is going to be 100 percent either the team reacting to the paranormal or you're gonna be seeing things i don't know it's gonna be crazy thanks for the popcorn y'all know why i'm really here thanks neil we got neil in the house hello i'm gonna flip this camera around and i'm going to show you the team that we have we have an amazing team we actually have the whole team together tonight for you guys so we're gonna start right here with mr merc how you doing merc good how are you guys I I'm doing good. How I how are you? Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feeling this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like a nervous y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, how you feeling about this tonight? I know this is a location that messes with you a lot. Mm. How you feeling about it? Right. Shoot it to him straight, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah. I I kind of get your nervousness, and then one half of TNT. We've got Tyson what, uh, in the house. What's up, Ty? What's going on? You tell me, man. What's going on? I don't know. All you feeling this? All sorts of crazy stuff already. Already? So, yeah. We've been here for be what? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, not long at all. And we're already having stuff happen. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited. Now, Neil, he's going to be making sure that nobody enters. So yep. everything that you see is going to be legit. Um, we're not going to have any problems with any trespassers because Neil... Um, he'll tackle them down to the ground and there's four entrances there's four entrances these two here and then the two in the very back that are fire. locked and i will show you how that rolls okay um fire yes fire exit and then the other half of tnt we've got uh, tyler how you doing man doing well are you excited nervous both happy sad shoot all, it to me straight all of the above all, all the above all the good all good things here and th you got some glasses there. Whoever sent the glasses to you, they actually look pretty badass on you, dude. Um, so question for you. This is where you actually, for the first time in the four years working with you, you had something happen at this theater that actually made you jump. And I've never seen that. You usually go in fearless. Do you mind, like, elaborating on that a little bit? <laughs> uh, I, I came around the corner and there was something, like, down on the wall. So that was like my first full body apparition that I ever saw. So how are you feeling about and, uh, being here tonight? I know last time we were here, some stuff went down as usual. This place never disappoints. I feel good. Like I'm, I'm excited to be here. Um, haven't felt anything super creepy. You heard a whisper I, though. I heard you. you we, yeah, in, we heard like a hiss so or we something. Were in here. Okay. And out here, we heard like a. Or something okay so it's it's so it's happening we already have stuff going on so it should be a good night yes and then Corey, i'm here we went into the theater to set up malenko and the dolls mm -hmm. and you said you heard a disembodied female yeah, voice he's it like mm -hmm. and then we talked yeah, to the really owner and said hey look shoot it to a straight have you ever had anything and he opened up and i didn't think mm -hmm. he was going to tell as much as he did but he said he's seen a thing or two yeah so oh, yeah. how are you feeling I'm last time you were here you also got affected I you did, got yeah. scratched and me and you both i think got attacked to, to some extent man yeah yeah it's Especially good to have you here um i'm excited here. about it you feeling it though you feeling good yeah well when i first got here i was getting some stomach cramps me too and really? so was bennett bennett was too yes as soon as we got here and then as soon as we kind of walked around and acclimated yeah. It kind of went away. I'm fine right now, but dude, yeah, okay. I parked right here and started feeling. So it. ship is going down. Yeah. All right, and then we have the lovely, mysterious, always suspicious. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Bennett Rain, how you doing, Bennett? Really, really well. You Very ready for excited. This? I'm so excited. So excited to have. I know, right? 
on the TV. And I, I have a, a spoiler fixing. alert here. We haven't shown her yet, but I kind of oh, yeah, gave sorry, a I'm plug. Sorry. Like, it's, it's good, honored, obviously. How are you feeling about tonight? So excited. Nervous, though, because I walked in and I could feel... You could feel it around. I could feel movement, yeah. Right. And then Tracy... How are you feeling? I'm doing good. You're always doing good. Doing you work good. with light. You work with energy. And anytime we've had any attachments here, you take us upstairs into your place, which is a whole, it's like heaven. Okay. It After is. walking yeah, through the valley of hell, you take us to heaven and you like do energy work on us. And thank you yeah. for that. No what problem. team do you represent? Heaven and Earth Paranormal. And when is your next live event here that the public can come hang out? In January. In January. Oh, so we're taking um, December off so we can be with our families. Paranormal oh, investigators can good. never take a day off. <laughs> well, all it's right. It's illegal. <laughs> it is, but public ones we were taking off. Okay, very cool. I deal with this every day. Yes, yeah, you do. Yeah. You, yeah, this is like a public <laughs> investigation for you. And then can we get a drum roll, everybody? Drum roll. And all the way from Florida, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, mysterious... Swamp Witch is in the house. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait, that was, that was a double loaded question. Um, you're psychically in tuned. Um, I've watched all your TikToks. How are you feeling about tonight in general? And when you first walked in, did you get anything right off the bat? I did. Um, I feel a little bit heavy in my chest, but I walked in and uh, had the lovely lady take me up to her yes. apartment and kind of tune me in so i'm feeling good now i'm ready you feel like you're ready for this i'm ready and then a little later i want you to be the first person ever outside of the team to actually hold malenko and tell us what you vibe on like origins uh if you feel the darkness <laughs> last week we had somebody say that they passed out with a bloody nose their father found him two hours later they said they would have sent pictures but it looked like a crime scene oh my god uh, anytime we've unmasked malenko all hell is broken loose as you might have seen or heard Absolutely. are you open to actually taking the challenge to to be the first ever to connect with malenko i'm down you I'm, down yep i'm ready for the all challenge. right she's she's in the house so <laughs> a big uh warm round of applause for swamp witch for joining us here tonight Making sure everything is on the up and up. Did I forget anybody? Did I forget anybody? All right, go. We're all here. We're here. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab some equipment. Let's head into the main theater, potentially. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll all kind of hang out, and then I think it'd be cool to cover as much ground as possible um, by breaking up into teams with low light. And this is going to be home base. This low is where the light. fire is and the popcorn and the refreshments. So this is where I'm going to be hanging out all night. Did, did you say low light? <laughs> Yeah, I say low light. And you're going to need to get the light away from Mike. Yes, Mike has probably got the... He snuck it from me. So, really quick, if you're not following Swamp Witch, please do so. She's phenomenal. I've never seen any bad content from her. She shoots it to you straight. So, she's going to be your eyes and ears, making sure that everything is happening as we say it is happening. Okay, guys? Um, so, Bennett, if you want to just kind of grab some equipment here really quick... We'll get started, and uh, we got this fancy little boy, this this new banner that yeah. we're going to be sporting uh, for the Las Vegas uh, Para Unity next week um, from Las Vegas. We're going to be um, out there, so that's going to be crazy cool. Um, and while they're getting the equipment, I'm just going to kind of take you guys into one of the darker parts of the theater, and that is in theater number two. They actually don't show... Um, movies in here anymore uh you can kind of see it's a very um cramped theater uh it's very long and narrow this is one where one of the portals is in this theater okay um and i'm going to take you to a spot you can see it marked there on the floor this is where a gentleman for 28 years would sit in this seat every single night even if he watched a show a dozen times, every time he was at the, this theater for 28 years, he sat in this seat. After he passed, anybody that used to sit around this seat could always hear laughing, coughing, and chuckling. So they've reserved the seat. They've put the popcorn down and they've left the seat down. Now, people that used to watch the shows that used to sit in these seats, knowing nothing about this seat where said gentleman would sit even after his existence here on earth people would feel their hair being pulled they look back and nobody was here 
So that is one thing that we're going to keep an eye on tonight is that little spot right there. And then a lot of the team does not know this. This is where Malenko um, had something go down. This is where Tracy says that there's a portal and we've set up some equipment here in the past. And it's crazy because this theater, and I'll take you back into the, to the projection room for this particular theater, number two, still ran 35 millimeters. So it wasn't digital, okay? But with this being a portal, guests would say that for some reason, this half of the screen would always black out or start flickering, which would be common for a digital track in this day and age. But back then they were running 35 millimeter. So as you adjust the camera, it would fill the whole screen. But right on this left side where the portal was, people would always say, can you adjust the screen? Because this side would always black out, whether it was a kid's show or poltergeist back in the day. So this theater right here has a lot of dark energy and a lot of... Um, Uh, a lot of history to it, to the point they won't even show movies in this spot anymore for that reason. So, I'm already starting to hear stuff. Ah! Dude, do not. Dude, do go. That, was like that is bad. Why did you even do that? Why would you do that? that was oh. Oh. Okay, we got to make a new rule, man. None of that. Um, yeah. Hey, Mike, I saw, I saw you. 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 Okay, so go in there so nobody else is scaring me. I wanted to show you guys, this is where they would run the 35 millimeter film. Okay, so it would go through here. It'd run through here. Then it'd run over to this very old projector right here. And they'd show the film. And so it is rare, very rare for a 35 millimeter film, okay, to cut out like that. Hey, can we have it quiet up there for one second? So it, it makes no sense that that part would have that type of stuff happening. Hey, can you tell him to be quiet up there? We're, I kind of live for a second. So I'm trying to explain something and all I can hear is but Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so this room also gets a Location never disappoints, I assure you of that. So now you can see in the newer side of the theater, which will be going in here in just a little bit. Hey, Tyson? Everybody's downstairs. Did you guys just hear that when I came in here? So you can see down in the theater, uh, that red is where we got Malenko set up. Um, so we're gonna be going down there and just here uh, momentarily. And I have to come in here. This is where the original owner Ralph's office yeah was everybody just downstairs because when i walked in here boom something fell instantly really yeah like click like loud yeah, like it didn't all down in the room where the snacks are <clears throat> okay just keep them down there at bay for one second tell uh tell bennett to get all the equipment ready okay and we'll head out into that main theater here in just a second so this is the theater, or this is where Ralph, um, the main owner, would do his accounting. I mean, look at that TV, okay. 
that's at least three years old. <laughs> um, and I just want to show you guys something nostalgic, okay? Now, you know when you go to the theater, it's like $12, $13, okay? Um, look at these ticket prices. 35 cents to go to the movie. Uh, the theater is... Um, 1939 is when it is built is when it was built um but look at that i mean a dollar i mean 35 cents five freaking cents okay this place has some serious history to it um but with that said ralph is still said to be present here in this room People say that they hear the pencil sharpener going. You hear what that actually sounds like? Because I want to. That doesn't even sound that loud. So I, I don't know how people would say they heard that in the projection room, unless there was a pencil in it. Okay, but um, so we'll be investigating this room as well as um, we've had a lot of activity happen in here. So. find a shortcut out of here so um so we're gonna get the investigator started here in just a, a second so Gee. okay that that's weird guys that cone that just hit me coming down when I walked by it, I am not kidding. I just want to show that I didn't kick that down. Because that was stacked on top of that. I remember when I was coming up, if anybody screenshotted that, that was stacked like that. So in the rare event that I would have hit that, which I wouldn't have because I would have had to come clear over here. That totally just came down at me. That's a little freaky, I'm not gonna lie. What? Holy, okay. That's there. You saw that there was just three up there. All right. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna set it on the third step, just like that. All right. Do we, oh, they're already in there. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Upstairs, at the top of the stairs, there's three cones. Were they stacked on top of each other? Yes. Okay, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I stack them myself because they're for my scouting stuff. <laughs> so she just confirmed that those were 100% stacked. Holy! Okay, no way, dude. You guys saw me set that on the third step. Oh my God. I'm not even gonna touch that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna mess with that. Something dark there. That's creepy. Who set this up? You're an ass. I shot 
Okay, let's kill that big bright light, man. I know, I always know when Merc's in the house because there's a spotlight that could land a jet. He was trying to fool me and thinking he didn't have it. I don't even have it. Tucked into his pocket. You can't even see it. Okay, so what investigation, like what equipment? I've already had stuff happen upstairs. The projection room? Look at us. Oh, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Look at you. Look at, Look at you. us. Look at us. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> they, they, have a, they have a special <laughs> relationship. <laughs> All right. So what equipment are we going to bring out? And let's be honest. When I just walked in here, I didn't feel anything. But when I walked in to set this little setup, this little duodity, um, it felt dark. And Corey even heard what he said described as a female voice. Yeah. yeah. Was it laughing? Was it crying? What is it? It was uh, kind of like a... Uh-huh. No, just like a little... Yeah, it was just like... I don't know if she was clearing her throat or just making That's noise creepy. Yeah. And for the record, um, I know Swamp Witch and Bennett were up by the fireplace, and I know that uh, Tracy was up by Neil. So technically, there should have been no one in here other than our little friends here, which um, we've picked up a couple new... Um, this is our newest collection, uh, or this, this thing, it, whatever it is, um, was given to us because we were told by the antique dealer lost and found that the person that dropped it off said 100% this was the darkest, most haunted doll. They found it in their grandmother or grandfather's attic. As soon as they got it out, you can still see the dust on it. As soon as they got it out. Bad luck started happening to him. So Rex, Rex is Rex. He's a good salesman, okay? He tells me, come get this doll. I'm going to give it to you. I said, all right, that's, that's cool. So I go get the doll. I said, where's this beautiful doll that you speak of? He wouldn't even have it in the store. He would not even have the doll in the store. And then, of course, these two new dolls that you saw last week, um, these have been in the acclimation chamber uh, for about two months now. And we have started investigating him and uh, already feeling stuff from him. Now, when we talked to Swamp Witch earlier, you said that you were having a heavy feeling in your chest and it was particularly like aimed towards the dolls. The dolls. Absolutely. I was fine when I walked in, everything felt good. And then I went over towards them and it slowly started feeling like something was squeezing my heart. Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Do you know what is in that red glowing box? Malenko. You do know. <laughs> you do know. How did you know that? Like, because no one said that. Did you just feel it? Malenko? Yeah. Or did you see it? I see him. Okay. You see him. Okay. Um, so I want to thank the viewer that actually sent Malenko a, uh, a Christmas hat. You can see here. Malenko now has, instead of just a black hood on, he has a Christmas hat. So that's cute. So we're going to see if that changes. We also brought a nun doll. We brought a holy Bible, because I'm going to be doing an experiment here in just a little bit. And of course, you've heard me been talking about this for the last few weeks, the Dybbuk box that I purchased from the antique mall uh, when it was touring through Salt Lake. And as mentioned, I have opened this doll or this box, even though I was advised not to. I mean, when in Rome, right? Okay. So uh, we've also picked this up, and this is actually supposed to protect you guys from Malenko's evil stare. What? What? What was what? Did you hear that? No. Yeah. Wait, I just heard it again. If there's anybody here in this room that is not of the living, can you please give us another sign audibly? Like dead silence. Pun intended. What? What? I heard like a whistle. These are the other doors that I was saying someone could entrance or enter into. And I just want to show you this is like locked up like like some kind of castle or something like that. Nobody's coming in or out of that. 
It actually sounded like the whistle came from this back area, didn't it, you guys? Potentially. That was somebody, right? What? No. Oh, that was the door, actually. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to debunk that. But anyway, so we're going to do an experiment um, using some light, some candles, a Dybbuk box, and the ever so holy, holy Bible. And against, again, the agreement on this purchase of the Dybbuk box that has not been sealed with wax yet, okay? So that's on them, you know. Um, we're going to open it up tonight for you guys. And we're going to do a test, the light versus the dark, okay? We're going to see if anything happens with that. Um, what equipment do we want to start with if there is anything in here? What's that? Look how everybody, like, everybody's so, so comfortable. They're like waiting for a show to start. I'm so fat, I can't sit in the seat. Oh, don't, do seat. Like, don't even I'm, try I'm that. I'm literally sitting on top of the seats. Don't even try that. So I, I have a question for you. I literally am sitting on top of the seats. Who moved this chair down? Uh, your mom. Uh, no, like legit, that was up when I first came in here. Did anyone set this seat down? Because me and you had a lot yeah. of issues with this seat right here, and it was up. And these aren't spring-loaded, folks. Like once, once that's up, that's up. Like you have to... Push that down and you'll hear it come down. What's that? So like once that's down like that, that thing is 100% down. Okay, see, now it's, it's back up. Wait, what? Okay, I just showed this on camera and I said once it's down, it's down. And then I walked over there and I showed it again and it was up. Did, you didn't move that at all? Sorry. Oh, that's sitting and standing right here. Okay. I didn't even know something until you just mentioned it. Okay, so we're going to leave that down. So please, everybody, we're going to leave this down, and we're going to see if we can actually get some activity from that there. Um, Bennett, what equipment do we want to start with in this room? We'll save this for a little bit. I got the lantern in that far corner because last time that spirit kept playing with it. Okay. What was that? That sounded like a door. Did anybody just open this door? No, I'm right here. This is in there. One hundred percent. That that like. They're both up there, still in the the same spot. Now I also want to prove or, or show this this here. Okay, not prove, but I want to show you how old this theater is. This is actually a crying room. Okay, so back in the day, uh, the late '30s, they would build a crying room. So if a mother or father or caregiver had a baby in here that was like annoying the hell out of everybody else in the theater, they'd say, hey, take your baby to the crying room. And then they would take the baby. What? Doll. Yeah, let's just move that thing. Let's put Mike in time out again. So this is the crying room. So a mother could be in here. They would pipe the sound in through here. And then the baby could make as much noise as they wanted and they wouldn't be able to hear him because that glass. I'm just going to see if this is really soundproof. Hey, Bennett, watch out for that spider. Yeah, she didn't respond. If she would have heard that, she would have, as you all know, flipped out. Um, and Dr. Boom, one of our moderators, has warned us tonight about um, some potential danger. So I'm gonna be very cautious uh, with what he was saying. I'm just gonna move this stupid, whatever it is, crying baby thingy into the damn crying room. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna set him there. What? Okay, so I've been scared by Merck and Tyson. Let's from this point forward, let's not. Like I, that got me. I'll get you. Like, I'll Technically, get you back. I didn't scare you. Well, you you tried. If I didn't see you, you're right. It would happen. Okay, well, so. 
Um, I say we set. So we're going to set up the, let's set this up. Um, what do you want to name that? I want to aim at the dolls, dolls just for, just for a few minutes. I'm just going to move that right out of the way. So this is going to calibrate. Do you want this three too? times. Yeah. One second. No, I want that over by where we had the, okay. That's already going off. Okay, oh. check it out, Bennett. Can you see? Dude, the way that the is looking at that music box. Ew, yeah. So technically, you guys, this should not be going off because once it's calibrated, it should calibrate from the tip of this to the closest item and anything in between it, okay? So once that's calibrated, blink three times, it should play for a couple seconds and then it should stop. Now it should stop like that. That's good. That means it's ca Can you step in front of that for three seconds? So just hold in front for three seconds. One, two, three. Just keep it going. Let's, one. Get, let's get the other one. This is the non-broken one. Oh, it is? Yeah. So that's legit going off for yeah, no that's, reason. Yeah, that's the good one. This one right here. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to just, I'm going to change, I'm just going to change the angle of it. I just want to see if we have anything here. Step back away. What's that? Oh. <laughs> now it's not doing it. <laughs> if that was you, meaning you, can you please step in front of that box again? It will not harm you, it'll simply play music. If you are the child that we think resides here, you'll know that that will play a melody that perhaps you like. What's up, Twisted or Nebraska Paranormal? Um, so I wanna show you guys. So you technically should be able to put your hand there, anywhere around it, even above it, okay? It's the second that you break that, that that should go off. Sorry. Now, a lot of people also say, Maybe it's triggered by light. Well, I want to prove that theory to be wrong as well. Um, it's not triggered by like a shadow. Or that would be triggering that right now. Okay. So a lot of people think maybe it's a shadow or a trigger by the light. But again, it takes something very large to trigger that. Whether that be energy or maybe even one of these creepy ass dolls moving. Just make sure it's working. Okay, we're good there. Um, what other equipment do you want to set up? The Swamp Witch. It, it, do, you want to, do you have any equipment that you see that we have that you would like us to utilize? I think you guys are using the, my favorite, the music box. Okay. And I'm going to ask you if you can tune in psychically, like vibe on this place, and if you feel anything where you think maybe we should set any of this equipment up. I keep getting drawn to that corner. This one? Yeah. Okay, can I ask you, have you ever seen us do a live here? Yeah. Okay, you have. So did you know about the... I've seen the door swing. Yes, okay. So Corey can attest to almost passing out and this, and you're feeling something right there. Yeah. So what do you think we should set over there? That's going off again. Well, I tried to set the other one to see, but yeah, this is the battle. Because if you're feeling something over there, I want... I'm, Totally going to put 100% of my faith in your abilities. And you tell me what you think would be the best device to detect whatever you're feeling. You say dark? It does feel dark, yeah. Okay. Um, I think the periscope and the music box, maybe. Mm. Bennett, let's get that over there. I think that'll be a good thing. So, Corey, you can attest. Whoa! Oh, Who did all that? What? Who moved all these chairs up? It was just an experiment. Oh, Dude, holy oh, shh. You didn't hear running? <laughs> yeah, I heard that, I heard that too. Back there. No, I, I heard that too. I did too. I I heard heard that. I... It sounded like someone was running down towards us, like they came in that door and was coming towards that us. That was loud. Yeah, I did hear that. I didn't even hear that. <laughs> and again, if you at home or wherever you're at, if you hear or see something, please let us know. We've got um, the team, they're moderating. We've got also 20 amazing moderate. Oh, Bennett, you need a bell on you. <laughs> Jesus, God. Should we leave the door well, she's talking about the doors and like Corey, and then all of a sudden you're like, Bah, hey, 
drink Kool-Aid. What? Oh, yeah. she, you're like this petite little thing, but you're like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> Holy jeez. I need bells. If anybody has bells, please send them to our P.O. box. Where did you guys say you heard the running from? This corner? Okay. I'm going to test something because you know the little stupid crying baby doll that Mike put over here? Yeah. I put it in the crying room. Oh, that means it? Yeah. And you guys just said you heard running from over there? No, if it's not in there, I'm, I'm going to go over to McDonald's and hang out. Holy. Okay, you guys. I am not shitting. The damn doll is not even in there. I'm not kidding. Has anyone come up through here? No. The doll's not in here? Dude, no. I put it in there. I sat it in that seat right there. I sat it in that freaking seat right there, dude. Holy. What the? A hundred percent nobody came up this way. No. Dude, that is like... So that little stupid doll is face down in front of the popcorn machine. And you guys just heard running from this direction. You guys at home, you guys saw me put that doll in there. And all the team, except for Neil and the manager, are up there. You guys saw me put that doll in there. Did you not see me put the doll? Because I was sick and tired of it seeing it right here. You guys saw me do the experiment, talk about the crying room. And then I put that damn doll in the crying room. I don't even know if it'll stand against that, but... I want this little thing in sight at all times. Okay, wait, let me switch that around, sorry. Okay. Walking out. Shutting door. Neil and you are up here. Right here. The rest of the team. Okay, it's still in there. We're good. We're good. We're good. The rest of the freaking team is up here. Is that you guys? Dude, there's a knock again. That was up here again. That was a knock on this door now. Whoa, 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 what's that? That's the All the, whoa. Hold on. We kind of the door open, so it was like whatever. The REM pod's going off? Yeah. What's the second ago? If you're here and you're that usher, it's about showtime. Wait one second, Bennett. I'll back out just for two seconds. It's about showtime. We've got a full house. If you're the usher that protects this south door, you need to get in place. The show starts in 30 seconds.
If you don't take your post, you're actually going to be fired. So you need to take your post in front of the south exit. Whoa. So we got Thank blue. And I just want to show you guys, you literally need to be not touching it. What? The door? I heard that too. Oh, well, you, There's you like. Chair. No, no, Where's the Tyler? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because you are just like. Level, it, no, the door's swinging. What well, one? It is swinging, that oh, one. Is the it right, sweet? The right door. Oh. Why is it pulling We're getting right? like. We're getting hit from every freaking angle here. We're being surrounded. What door was swinging? The this? I'm just going to stand back here. You guys, if you're not following Paranosis, it's critical that you follow us. We do these live investigations every Friday night, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Help us grow. Help us get to new locations. Um, just hit that follow button. Set your notifications. Like our videos. Comment on them. We appreciate you guys. I just got rushed. Yeah. Okay, so. No, Lydia, as soon as you set that down there, it looked like someone was standing right I there. I saw that too. Really? Oh my you God. Saw that? You did? Yeah. What did you see? There was a black shadow standing in there. I saw yeah, that as too. As soon as she came out, there was I saw someone that too. standing right behind yeah. her. Behind here? Yeah, yeah, too. Oh, I'm so glad someone else saw that. Just yeah, they were you guys like, both they saw that. They would have been standing right about you that garbage can right cool. there. It just looked like someone was right here. Yeah, as soon as Bennett. Okay, that's going off, you guys, yeah. and we're standing behind it. I was looking right over there, and I was staring. I like, wasn't yeah. quite sure. But Bennett, yeah. why did you park your car in here, bro? Like, what? You're, not, you're supposed to park in the parking lot. Like, really? Like, seriously, right? I'm just kidding. Didn't you hear it say, it goes, broom, broom. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Sorry. get your hey. own ride home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're mature so folks. Right. No, seriously, releasing laughter is a good thing to do when doing a paranormal investigation. It's uh, it's kind of a mask. Is again. It only okay. Blue. I just want to open this up so everybody can see. Can you stand in front of that music box for three seconds? I'm going to go to blackout. There's one. Okay, so on up to three. One... There we go. One, two. Show you guys, there's nobody oh, over there. That was so close. Yeah, that was trying to work with me. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, there it goes. That, oh my God, all the way to red right I'm there. To go to red. Thank that is you. a full contact touch there. That means something 100%. Just to show you guys, for it to go to red, you physically have to be touching that. Blue is contamination, red and yellow. You okay? Yeah. If that's you, can you please make an audible noise in this auditorium? Who is that? Oh, Jesus. It's like Shrek. Shrek? <laughs> okay, if you're not living and you're not Merck or Tyson, can you please give an audible noise in this auditorium? Well, that and the music box at the exact same time. The music box is going in too. Okay, now without manipulating any of these devices, can you please give us a visual or audible sound without using a device? What was that? Yeah, what was that? Oh, okay. I thought it was like a cry or something. Well, no, yeah, it sounded like that. It did a little bit? Oh, that was you. Okay. That's what I heard. That's what I heard too. Someone says check Oh, if that doll's gone, I am seriously going to go to Taco Bell. 
Now I can still see that little devil doll in there. No, the doll's still there. So that's good. Can you please give an audible noise? Somebody, something audible without using the equipment. Holy. No, I'm like back here. Not an ounce of fear right here. Chairs are still good. Yeah. I was just seeing if one of them. Maybe it was the chair about to break. They bring it up. Yeah, right? <laughs> that was me. Sorry, that, that crushed there. Yeah. That was in the same place? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, they saw something move back there. Something they did? Shuffled yeah, back there. shuffled. And I don't think that's them triggering because it would be going off solidly. Yeah. With, with Swamp Witch standing right there, that thing would be going off continuously. The fact that it stopped would indicate it's not her. Where? 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 Kind of midpoint in the back, it looked kind of like someone was sitting there. Do you think I should sit? Can you please show yourself by opening one of the two theater doors in the back of house? Yeah, you can't breathe. I feel like there's like no air in that room at all. I felt like suffocated. I don't like that room. Yeah. That was and this is like, when I'm talking about someone that's in tune with themselves, it's, it's this young lady right here. And for her to say she can't breathe and she's feeling something, what do you feel like? It feels like there's no air in there at all. Like it's just a vacuum. Why? Is, are you okay? What is that noise? That's moving. Are you okay, Tyler? Yeah. Oh. Did you hear that? What? There was movement in the back. No, okay. I just asked for one of those doors to open or move. Right, that's me again stepping on these. So for her to say she can't breathe and she's, she's feeling the heaviness, she says this room feels like a vacuum. I, I trust her. And then Tyler just standing there kind of looks like the Blair Witch dude where he's just standing in the corner. Yeah, there, okay, that's, okay. Are you feeling whatever's here is dark or light out of yeah. curious? No, it feels darker. Darker. It feels heavy. So not in a good way. And it feels like it hides. So it's like avoiding us, right? So when you go in there, it goes back here and vice versa, right? Yeah. And you've been, you've been to some pretty dark places. Like have. you have been to some pretty dark places. <laughs> Do you feel this is an evil spirit or just dark? call it evil but it does feel dark and a bit oppressive so it's not a kid no okay no, it's not a child okay keep us posted because your professional opinion matters to me because with you never being here and you being new into you've never been to utah no never I just want to see, because I know what spirits are said to reside here. I want to see if you get any names as well. So if you get any names that come to you, please let me know. Okay. What happened? Um, we heard a noise back here. So I went and I peered through the door. Yeah. Figures right by, like, just a black mask right by the crying room. I thought That's she was talking between. like a legit person was right there. So I went out that door Did she say anything? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody watching find it a little weird that Bennett's still carrying a broom around? That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, come on. It's her ride home. I know, but why is she carrying a ride? You're not supposed to park in the theater. Right? What? I hate leaving my hand. Weird places. So does that mean you're like a no. witch? I mean, I'm just saying, like, if the evidence, like, if the glove fits... Yes. Right? If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. 
Sorry, that clicking is me when I've, I'm stepping on this, okay? So that clicking there. No, see that right here? Because I peeked out this Demon way. doll's still up in and there. Tyson went around this way, so I just peered right here. Oh, God. Just kind of like right when I was peering to see what the noise, because we heard, we both heard a noise, so we came to check what it out. What the hell is that? Like, just seriously, for a second. Okay, it's just like oh. a creepy little room. <laughs> what was that? Holy no shit. That door. What the? F I Did you hear that? I heard that too. What the? Was that coming from in there? No, I have no that? idea. Did anybody in here just hiss or make a loud noise? No. Holy sh... Bennett, that is weird. That was no, right that behind was, us, right was, when we opened that. That was like right behind us. Creepy. I was gonna go look further in, and then I was like, Holy "Ooh, that's a dark stairwell." Ew. Can you make a knock if you're up there? Go down. Go down there. I just I gotta talk to the viewers for one second. I need to talk to you guys about something, okay? Without the rest of the team knowing. Okay, so they're, they're there in that main theater. I'm up here in the main projection booth, okay? Um, and I have a confession. A paranosis confession. So what I have not told the team, including Swamp Witch, is that I have, thank you so much for the galaxy. I have been, I've been opening and playing with the Dybbuk box. I know the contents. I feel the evil. Last week after we had the trespassers and the building at the Anson Call House was secure again, I, I put the Divic box inside the pentagram in the ritual room at the Anson Call House. I opened it in hopes that whatever was, thank you for the crown, whatever was in the Divic box and whatever is in the Anson Call House, if you recall the Halloween special where I passed out and was taken to the hospital, all hell broke loose. Neighbors called the cops, cops cleared the house and the top window started busting out with nobody in and the police were there to document it all. So I know the darkness that lurks in the Anson Call House. So I took the Dybbuk box, thank you so much. I took the Dybbuk box to the Anson Call House. If you're a fan of Ghost Adventures, um, it's the Ted Bundy Ritual House and it's the, the I'm just gonna call it for what it is, the satanic, Pentagram. I put the Dybbuk box in there. I opened it in hopes that whatever was in the Dybbuk box, whatever was in the Anson Call House, would collide and join forces. Now, what the team does not know, that Malenko has also been inside the Dybbuk box, inside the Anson Call House, manifesting, merging dark synergy. And they don't know that yet. So I believe by me bringing the Dybbuk box here, <laughs> thank you guys so much. By me bringing the Dybbuk box here tonight, I'm gonna open it with you guys witnessing it. I feel that whatever, I could have swore I just saw somebody standing behind me. That is a trip. But anyways, um, that whatever is in the Dybbuk box, I think has attached to me. Um, everybody knows Quentin Tar Tarantino. Um, his wife sent me this rosary. Um, it's one of the last ones she made and she gifted this to me. Um, so I've got some new protection tonight. Um, thanks to Quentin Tarantino's um, wife, the Hollywood director. Um, his wife makes these rosaries and I have one of the last two made. There was this one, 
and then she stopped selling them. And then she made an ivory white one. And I now have in possession that that will be protecting me this evening. I reached out to him and I was given this because whatever's attached to me from that Dybbuk box, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's dark, it's not good. And I do not wanna put my team in danger. So they will not be messing with the Dybbuk box tonight, but me and you are gonna. And that's why I brought the Holy Bible because I'm gonna do an experiment with the power of religion and the power of darkness. I'm gonna see how the two work side by side. Now, Swamp Witch does not know that. Swamp Witch does not know that when she holds Malenko, I'm going to see if she actually tunes into the fact that Malenko has now absorbed. Bennett! 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 Hold on one second. I heard a scream down there. Bennett! You okay? Okay, get him out of there then. If he's going to be playing jokes, I don't want him in there. So, Swamp Witch does not even know that that's going to be happening. So, holy sh... What the... Oh my God, that door just freaking slammed behind me. I want to point something out. This door is on that to prevent it from slamming. When I walked out, that door was like that. When I entered into this hallway, that door slammed shut right behind me. Something's with me right now. These are steep. So in theory, I want to find out if Swamp Witch feels the oppressive energy of Malenko absorbing 10 times. Good, it's still in there. 10 times the darkness from that Dybbuk box. Going on? So this has been constantly going off in okay. the box. Yeah. Almost like a strobe light. Uh-huh. And just you're just waiting for it. it feel you can feel something there with you. Mm -hmm. But you're just waiting for something to like pop up. But like inside the room, like the corner up there, inside there. Yeah. Even with that light going off, it was staying pitch black. It worked. What worked? What? Oh, oh, you had every single one of those down. Yeah, so okay. When I freaked out, because I saw these down, you were doing an experiment. Will you explain yeah, what the all, experiment yeah, I was? I wanted to put them all down because they have a tendency to put them all down. I wanted to put them all down, see if they want to put it up. Wait, hold on. What's up? There's something by the door over there. You're tuning door. into it? Yeah, that we kept hearing slam. See, I, oh I was just watching you, and then I can see her in this dead stare. And, like, look at the intent stare that she's got. So you're saying something up by that door? There's a black shadow by the door. Have you heard about the cowboy up there? No. There's supposedly, and I'll go ask Tracy about this, but there's a cowboy that guests say they see there. And it's actually flicked an earring off of a guest before. Really? And it always stands at that doorway. I'm just going to go confirm that story. So you're filling it up there? Yes. Are you ready for Malenko in a minute? Yes. Okay. That is one brave woman right there. I'll give you that. You all right? Mike? Merck? Merck. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. Yeah. What's the matter? You were just like in a dead stare, dude. So 
the swamp witch is saying right here at this door. Okay. Now I'm going to go confirm. Trace? Can you do me a favor? Swamp Witch is connecting with something somewhere in the theater. Can you tell us the story of the cowboy and where he is said to stand? Okay, the cowboy is usually right here in this corner. Okay, right guys. Here. Okay. So she's saying and she's seeing something. Like, you know, like it acts like a cowboy. So she so. kept saying that she saw a dark figure in this area. Can you tell us a story? I think um, it was you or your sister that, that was telling me. That would be the usher. Oh, the usher. Because the ushers walk up and down the hallways. So who know. was the one that supposedly flicked the earring off a, a Patreon? I'm not sure. That was your sister then, I think, that was I telling me. So. Yeah. She said that someone flicked an earring off of a guest and, okay, so I just wanted to verify this was the corner. Right, this is that, the corner for the cowboy. Okay. We have the ushers that walk the aisles in there, so. Dang. So, yeah, uh, Swamp Witch confirmed that this is not the cowboy, but the ushers would walk these hallways and guard this entrance down here that we're having the activity and then where you just said you saw that. So I'm going to, I'm going to try something. We're not going to unmask him yet. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. But I want you to hold Malenko if you're open to it. Yep. And I just want you to shoot it to. What was that? Is Tyler back there? Is he? Tyler? Where's Tyler? Uh, Where's Tyler? I don't know. Tyler? He's not in here, though. Tyler! Yeah, there's nobody back here. I thought Tyler was back here. Yeah, that's not... that. I thought that was maybe like Tyler or something like that. Oh. Yeah. That was behind me. Where is Tyler? I don't there. know. There he is. There. So you're, you're not, yeah, he's not even back there whatsoever. I thought maybe he went behind the screen and that, that's maybe what we were hearing. When I was standing back there, yeah. there was movement knocking back behind the screen. Me and Swamp just heard a knock back there. I thought you were still back there in the corner. No, that was loud. That was very loud. Okay, so Swamp Witch has never had the honor of holding Malenko. And so, as promised, Bennett, you parked your car again in the weirdest spot, girl. I tell you what. Um, so, you know a little about Malenko, I'm, I'm sure. You've danced with the devil. You've been to the devil's tree. You've been to some pretty dark locations. So, 100%, what I want you to do is when you hold Malenko... Whether it's good or bad, I just want you to connect and see if you can uh, identify maybe the origins, uh, any of the darkness, um, anything recent with Malenko that you feel may change. Now, I know you've never um, held Malenko. So this is with, uh, with caution that I advise. I know that you protect yourself uh, with whatever you do. We're not going to unmask him yet. Um, but when you hold him, I just want you to tap into him, what tribe potentially, um, and just see if you feel any darkness associated with Malenko. Oh, that hit my heart immediately. In a bad way? Yeah, no, that was... <clears throat> when you say hit your heart, like, what, what are you my experiencing right now? Like it normal and then it like that how daring are you like how protected are you very do you dare to stare into malenko's eyes yeah are you okay with that yeah. i mean i i trust that you protect yourself you know what you're doing but i mean you've seen the warnings you've heard i mean we get hundreds of emails after we unmask him 
I'm not going to show the viewers yet, but at your discretion, turn him around, take his cute little Christmas hat off, <laughs> and look into his eyes and tell me if you can see a soul or feel anything or just just tell the viewers what you're feeling if you're okay with it okay okay we're just gonna have it quiet everybody black out for a second get your breath and again again guys swamp witch she takes all her evidence very serious she's very respected in the industry she'll shoot it to you straight she's she's tapping into are you tearing up it's heavy. It's hard. Okay, let's everybody back okay. off from her just a little bit. You know the safe word? Yep. Okay. At your discretion when you're ready. Do you mind if I just focus on you a second? It is angry. You're feeling you're feeling anger from him. Do you feel where he potentially could be from? I keep getting Haiti. So you are getting Haiti as well. Notice her demeanor. Her breathing is getting heavier. She's holding her temple. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think whatever is in it was ever human. It feels very angry and dark. Um, and I'm getting like a, a complete disregard for humanity, if that makes sense. Right, Just, no, 100%. I feel if like you, I'm having a heart attack. If any of the viewers are watching this, please screenshot this. This is a pivotal moment right here as she tunes into, without knowing any of Malenko's origins or history, she is now 98% on what we've been told by other occult specialists. I'm like shaking. I can see the demeanor in your change. Like you, you, I can see the change in you, like 100%. Woo! What? What was that? What? Something flew from that over that's, from that corner over it. That's still, that's actually that. I just wanna, she just pointed out that that's still swinging. That should not, no. that yeah. should not be swinging Freaking still. Came you, Tyler, and landed like right up here. Like that nearly hit. I have to Corey. put him down, I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, no, I need to put him down. What, if you don't mind sharing, what are you feeling? Um, I don't even, I don't, can I say it on here? Um, uh, I mean, you know TikTok rules if it's like, I mean, just, I guess shoot it to, to him straight. There's, like, a, there's a lot of anger directed to you. Uh, me? Yeah. Why me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, Why not Tyler or something? No, no Tyler's that, got enough bad juju around. So anger towards me. I think it, it's being kept as a pet is what I'm getting. Okay, I didn't tell you this. I didn't tell the team this. I wanted to, when I went upstairs, I disappeared for a few minutes. I went up in the projection room in Ralph's office. So <clears throat> after the break in Saturday, I went back Sunday, boarded the place up. I put the Dybbuk box inside the ritual room, inside the satanic pentagram. I opened the box and for four days, Malenko has been in the Dybbuk box. Oh my God. So for you to say that you feel like I'm keeping it as a pet, for you to not know anything about me, putting him in the Dybbuk box to absorb the energy, the darkness, and for you to just say that, and it's angry at me now, that says something. And you guys, you guys at home heard it first because that's like, you heard me go up.
yourself. Did anybody else feel it was starting to kind of like, well, for me personally, when she was kind of like holding him and feeling it, like I felt like being Okay, I just saw something fly across here. That's what I saw. I saw something, I just saw something flying across here. Like back from this corner back. I don't know if you guys caught it because I had this going this way. I just saw something flying. It was, it, it had a, a reflection to it. Do you do you feel safe right now, Swamp Witch? Uh, like, do you need a cleansing? Do you just what the? F okay, everybody is right here. You can see everybody. Something is happening. Merc is in the middle of the room, moderating with us. We're now hearing like clicks or something being thrown at the chairs in here. No, they're all right there. Like, it does not even make any sense. Is that devil doll still in that trying room? Yeah, I can see it. Do you want, do you want to get cleansed? Like, do you want to hang out with her for a second? Yeah. I just, I feel, I can see your demeanor has changed from Wonder Woman to like, I, I see the fear in you right now. Okay. Yeah, that, that, I'm not going to mess with that. Like, I trust her intuition. I trust everything that she's about, everything that she says. She's been to some pretty dang dark places, you guys. And for her to hold Malenko and say that it's mad at me for keeping it as a pet when you guys just five minutes ago heard me say that I put Malenko in the Dybbuk box to absorb the energy of not only the Dybbuk, inside there, but to absorb the energy of the Anson Call house. And for her to say the origins and the hate and the, that it doesn't even have like a, a, a human presence, it's just, it, to me, that's shouting out every, what is that? That thing is still, still swinging. Moving. That is, I just want to document, we've had Malinko out for about five minutes, okay? And this new, well, this new protection relic that we put up on here to protect you from the stare of Malenko has been like, it's been moving for what, about eight minutes? Eight, nine minutes? Yeah. Minutes. And I mean, I guess that doesn't mean like, I mean, I guess that's, it doesn't really mean anything because it's just hanging by that. But considering that that's Malenko's like acclimation chamber, to me, kind of says something. I don't know. So let's go ahead and put Malenko back in his case. Holy bullshit. What? Sorry, part of my language. What the, dude, okay, wait a second. Malenko, she sat Malenko right there. There's his freaking hat. She put the freaking hat on Malenko. That is no joke. She put the hat on Malenko. She didn't take him with? Shit, I hope not. Dude, if she took him with, like, no, no, because when I was there, that Malenko was in the shot. Okay. Explain that. Oh, wait, Explain that. He's hiding behind the dolls? Explain that. Look, this thing's Walk still going. Her. No. I've never actually touched my ankle, ever. Yeah. There's, I, I won't, I usually don't like the team to touch it because I don't want the GG, and I don't want to put that on. Swamp Witch, she's such a kind soul. But coming down here, she agreed. Will you hold this? Yeah. 
she agreed that she wanted she wanted to try that. She wanted to experience that. So Tyler just heard her voice. There's some kind of voice behind the screen here. Behind the freaking screen. Yeah. All right, Malenko's well, safe and sound back in the box. Yeah, that's what <laughs> we want to believe, right? <clears throat> Eyes are creepy. You okay? <clears throat> it's kind of crazy that like she's staring at Malenko. And Malenko, we're gonna unmask here in a little bit. And like I said, I've got an experiment with Malenko, the Dybbuk box. I don't know if it's or what happened. Did you just see that? that? Yeah. That freaking little doll just tipped over. Like, and that's not like a weighted doll. Like that, that was like sitting in her lap. Right. And if I touch this, why would it trigger that? Wait, pick her up, pick that nun up again. It wouldn't have yeah, done there's that. No way. There's no way that would have happened. So let's maybe just go check on her, make sure that she's okay. okay. Who is that? What? Okay, please, you guys, come here. Do me a favor. Tell me if I'm losing my mind. No way. What? Was I not just pointing out the fact that it was creepy that that doll <gasps> Was, was looking, looking at, at Malenko. Malenko. Okay. Holy crap, that's happened before. Ew, I just got mad chills. <clears throat> I'm like stupid dizzy right now. Yeah, maybe we should all go back up there. Yeah, let's, we're gonna go re regroup for a second, you guys. Um, and anybody asking, this extension cord is actually the power to Malenko's box that gives him the lights, so we can always keep an eye on him. Um, I just want to point that out. And then this here um, obviously changes the colors. How do you do that, Mike? Uh, just hit uh, B or G or Oh, okay, yeah. So this remote actually just changes the colors. Malenko, I just don't want anybody thinking this is like some like hocus pocus remote or something turning dolls' heads. These dolls have absolutely no um, animatronic features. They don't have any music boxes in them. You know, and they, that's interesting because when I was standing back here, and I was actually meant to, about to make a comment. Uh -huh. I was looking at this doll right here, uh -huh. and it what looks one? like this one up here. And okay, yeah, okay, and so it looked like it was just going like this. See, eyes. other people have said that her eyes move. Now, it's I like will okay that I will show you that her eyes will close. Yeah, I just okay. when I saw her her eyes move and look to to her left, like up towards the audience. This doll just house. tipped over. This is the doll that caught on fire um, at the Anson Call House, um, which was weird because the candle was nowhere. Nowhere near. So this this here, this relic here that was given to us by a fan is to protect you from the stare of Malenko. It's supposed to be a diversion so you don't stare into to Malenko's eyes, but this one will actually bring you uh, good luck and good fortune. So when we unmask Malenko, we decided to put something like this up here so that when you guys are watching Malenko, that you're distracted by what would emanate um, good vibes and good love and happiness and, and, and health and stuff like that. So uh, let's head up there. Is that still going on? Yeah, it just went to yellow. Are we, only, are we the only ones in here? We are. Dude, so between me and you, the 
the big box when I opened it Sunday. Uh, some attached to me. Oh, Remember really? how I told you to bring that anointment oil? Mm -hmm. I need a blessing, dude, because okay. I haven't been able to sleep. I've been super depressed. I've been super cranky. I have been pushing my friends out of my life. So that's why, between me and you, that's why I wanted you to bring that. It's because when I opened that, I felt something rush into me. And it's dark, bro. Like, even a little bit ago, when Tyson scared me, mm -hmm. my anger, I wanted to, like, attack him. Uh, like, I yeah, felt... not good. And you know me. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very peaceful. But I wanted to attack him. And I don't mean, like, hey, like, pit him. I wanted to, like, take him down. That's interesting. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of why I just... Yeah, I yeah, got this. Uh, whenever you want to do that, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm feeling like I'm going to need it. Like, but I don't want the team knowing because I don't want them thinking that I brought something dark in here. Did you hear that? I did. Yellow. Red. Whoa! If that's you, can you touch that music box? I think they turned it off. Oh, it did they? Going, yeah. I am sick to my stomach, bro. After I just told you that. Dude, I do not feel good. Like, I feel like I'm being rushed. I feel like I'm being yeah. rushed right now. Let's get you out of here. Dude, why is it like all going nuts? Let's get out of here. Yeah, what was that? Holy Okay, well, dude! Holy crap, dude. That, that's the same thing that happened that last that's time when me and you were here. here. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Is that open? Dude, no, 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 no. Dude, look at the doll's head again. Look at the freaking doll's head again. I yeah, just right freaking like saw it. that move. I just saw that move, man. I just saw that move. It's like a million Holy crap, dude. Because look, you can see you can see her head. You can see her head. Yeah. I seriously watched her head from just over turn. there turn to Malenko. I am not kidding. And now she's staring at Malenko as she was a moment ago. And I, I assure you guys, this doll is porcelain. It has no animatronic features to it. It doesn't, it, it's, it's a, it's a freaking, it's a devil doll. It's the devil doll. I, I'm going to call her the devil doll. It's like a million times colder in here. I can feel that, yeah. It's so it's much colder. It's a lot colder. cooler in here. I just got rushed over there and that freaking door just slammed at us again. Back in the dark one? Yeah. It's gone. It's Let's get up here. Let's get out. Let's split into teams. It does feel colder, but I don't know if it's just because my nerves are shot right now. How Swamp Witch? She stepped outside. She okay? Hope so. She's, She's outside walking around. I'm just going to check on her really quick. Hey, hun, everybody's asking about you, okay? I'm hanging in there. What's... I'm, Are you okay? I'm good. I think we're all being affected a little bit mm. by the anger. Can I ask you a question? When you sat Malenko down, you put his hat on, and you sat him down right where you were standing, right? A few minutes ago, I went to put Malenko in his case. His hat was there. But Malenko was clear over on the opposite side. Everybody thought maybe you took him with. No. I have to put him down. Why does it not even feel like it's Christmas time? I feel like there's Christmas and then there's hell. Like I feel like the two, I feel like the dividing line right here. You are okay though? Let's uh let's get some teams together. Who wants to go first?
keep an eye on her. I'm worried about her. You have? Okay. Um, if anybody at home feels like they would like some Reiki, you did this last time. There's been some darkness in there with Malenko. Are you okay with doing uh, some remote Reiki for the viewers? So let me just kind of explain what's going to happen here to the viewers. Um, this is for you guys. If you just witnessed what we did and you're feeling the dark energy that Swamp Witch just said that she feels like everybody's potentially being uh, affected right now. Um, Tracy is a certified Reiki master. She works with light. She works with love. She works with crystals. She works with the spiritual side of what we're dealing with. And so last time we were here, you guys all at home said you felt some weird darkness. If you would like to participate in some Reiki that's done remotely through this camera, she's going to do that right now. If you're not open to that for whatever reason, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Just step away, turn your head, uh, get a drink right now. It's just going to take a few seconds. So by continuing to watch, she's going to do some Reiki uh, for you guys. Uh, trust the process. Uh, I love her. She's a no BS type of person and she will do you right. So I'm going to turn that over to her right now. Yeah, I feel like something's up. Okay, so. They should be feeling less better. Thank you. Meeting everybody here. Thank you. You girls feel okay? Yeah. How do you guys feel about being the first team to go solo? Are you ready for that? Though? I'm down. You sure? I'm down. I mean, let's get these beautiful girls. Like, I, if I was you guys, I would want to watch these girls go investigate, <laughs> right? So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to turn the time over to these amazing individuals now you guys started a relationship back um chatting back and forth mm -hmm. and thank you so much for coming all the way from florida where it was like 70 degrees and now it's like 23 degrees outside so welcome to the winter wonderland also known as hell um, <laughs> um but thank you for coming out i know that bennett has nothing but admiration for you she she follows you and i guess when she talked to you the other day she goes what a kind soul so i thought it'd be perfect to to team you two up if you're cool with that. Mm -hmm. Take whatever equipment, go to whatever spot, but please be careful. We'll be watching from down here in the safe room and remember the safe word if you guys feel like you need it. Um, are you guys sure you're ready for this? Yeah. I mean, I, I trust I'm a woman. I'm worried about her. I'm, good. I'm I think she's got her shit together. I'm more worried about you, the scream queen in the house. We got this. You got, okay, look at this, look at this. We Pair of unity, I love it. Okay, so. Take it away, please. Do you safe, do you want to take it for a second while I can just go grab equipment really fast? Take the take that with you. You want me to take okay. everything in there? Okay. Make sure no one is oh, in the room with you guys, though, please. Are you okay? Are you sure? He's been acting really weird. I know. What's up? Even the fans have been like asking about you. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. What's really going on in real life? Nothing. Will you talk to me? Off the camera? Oh, I'm fine. No, you're not, dude. You've been sitting in the, the theater, and now you're sitting over here playing with a kid booster poster. Well, I moved. I thought I broke it. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go grab Swamp the equipment witch, really fast. Rain, what? Oh, gosh. Please be safe. Is it. Sm Do you need to stay out here away from Malinko? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yep, we got this. What equipment do we want, and where do we want to go? I'm a big fan of the music box. Okay, cool. We can do that. And then where do you want to go? Like, where do you feel? She, um, LaDawn was saying she was feeling something in room two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard her saying that too, actually. Let's check that out. Okay. So we will go to theater two. We'll grab the music box, which has been nonstop in that dark room. Which now I have to go grab. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, it is so freaking dark. Okay, if everybody at home could feel the energy in here, it's like, it's so bad. You want me to grab the room? It's so bad. Yes, if you could. Okay, oh my gosh. It's so dark. Um, no grab the Did you hear that? What? Did you hear a whisper? No, I missed that one. Male, female? No, there was a male whisper. Did anybody else hear it? Did anybody else hear the whisper? It sounded too close to be them. Oh. What was that? That's the door. Hello? Sorry, I can't walk up fast now. What is that? That doll oh is so creepy. That's the one I got scared at earlier. They're all in there. Wow. There's no one. This is where I freaking came out and there was someone standing right here earlier. Like, he scared me so bad. These doors, there's go. something going on up here. I know. Whenever we're down here by the stage, I feel like something's at both doors just, like, constantly. And then back in that one. Yeah, I, I hate that. Okay. Someone says they want... Whatever, where? In that corner. In the corner one? Yeah, I don't like it. I was gonna grab. Oh, someone said Estes method. We can do this too. Okay. So we've got the ovulus. Someone said Estes, so now I just have to. It might be in the other room. It is way quiet, but it feels so freaking dark. Like, just like. Okay. Your head is? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. Let's get you out of here and maybe. Okay. They want. Hey, you want the Bennett, we gotta do one thing for uh, the guys. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, one of the guys has a plea. Okay. Tyson. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not telling this. Tyson. Huh? Do you do you want to make the plea? Which plea? Pizza. Yes. Pizza. I need it. Pizza. Please save me. I'm so dying. if somebody in the Twilla area would like to investigate with us tonight, uh, Tyler, Tyson, you didn't eat, did you either? No, I'm starving. Okay, so we got some hungry people here. So we're in Tooele. What's the address here? 111 North Main. 111 North Main, Tooele. If you or your friends, friends, I mean like no more than two, please, for our insurance purposes. If you'd like to come and investigate with Paranosis tonight, send pizza. Is there yeah, no, I'm good we won't now. chase you out of the so theater. Weird. <laughs> so you guys are really hungry. I'm starving. Pizza, pizza. Yeah? Okay, so you even said Taco Bell because I know Pizza Hut Literally, isn't open. Taco Bell, tacos. Do you mind if I show um, you? Pizza, oh, oh, oh. Um, Chinese. Yeah. Okay, so and what's works. the address one more time? 111 North Main. Okay, you guys are the super fans. You guys will make it happen. Ooh. Neil will watch for you. Um, if you would like to investigate with us tonight, bring that over. There's a few hungry staff members. Uh, we obviously yep. can't leave uh, because we're in the middle of this. So if you guys can find it in your heart, you would like to make that happen. Uh, Tooele, Utah. What's the address one more time? 111 North Main. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and we are at the Ritz Theater. Go ahead, Ben. So I have to share this. Yes. So we walked back down there, was trying to grab the equipment, uh -huh. and heard, like, knocks on the back doors again. But while she was in there, started getting a headache. Second really we got bad. out of wow. there, gone. Yeah. So just in the main theater where Malenko is. Yeah, when we were walking back up, my temple started pounding. We were talking about the back corner that it's, it's dark and we don't dark. like it. And my head started pounding. Holy sh... Yeah. Are you it guys just, okay? It feels like yeah. it's just like, I don't know. It just feels like this big black mask. Guess where we're going to be yeah. in a couple. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Everyone's saying Murphy needs a hug. So yeah. Okay, oh, let's get a group here. hug. We got a group hug. Let's get a hug going. Let's get a hug. Look, oh, look at oh. that. Look at the love. Oh. Look at the love. Watch your this hand is, there, dude. Nah. Nice. 
You okay? I want a hug. Oh, Merrick, what's up? Give him a hug. He's something's up. Something's up with Merck, you guys. Anybody that knows the lightheartedness of Merck knows when he has the spotlight out, something's up. What are you feeling in there, man? That's where we were going to go. Oh, shit. Here's the camera. Have a uh, good time, ladies. Oh, what did you see? <laughs> what did you see? Well, oh. earlier, I was standing over here, and I stopped and looked, and there's like a little kid just like peeking around the corner. Are you kidding me? And so then I walked outside. We stood outside for like five minutes. I came back inside and just got drawn to stand here. So I come around the corner and I turn the light on and the plastic moved forward and then backwards. That's great. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. Look at the plastic. I know, that was the draft. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but okay. It looked like there was somebody standing well, there, and then it kind of like moved back, and you could watch the plastic move back, and it hasn't moved since then. People requested that we do the Estes method. Are you okay with us doing it that soon? 100%. You guys okay. rock okay. and roll. Uh, All right. Girl power. Have you, have you ever done it? No. No? You've never done it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I find it really intimidating because whenever I do it, I feel it like. Oh my god. When did I put the broom in here? I did not bring that in here. It's freezing in here. Yeah, it is freezing. Oh man, it's so cold. Holy oh, cow. I wonder if we should have gotten the laser grid too. The laser grid is. Uh, okay, there's a seat in here. Oh, I've never liked the theater. There's, there's a seat that a spirit always sits in and they do not like it when you sit in their seat. Oh, I need to find out which one it is. It's something like right up here, right? I, right. I remember mm -hmm. Tyler being up there. Should I test uh, them out? Huh? Should I test them out? Test who? The seats. See which one it is. Ooh, can you? Sure. Yeah, let's see that. I'm going to set this down here, too. Hello, do you mind if I sit with you? <laughs> if you're here, can you make a noise for me, please? Can you knock? Maybe make a bang? Are you not interested in hanging out with us? <laughs> I definitely feel Where? something here. In that seat? In the general area. I don't think it's this seat. Maybe it's the row back. I remember Tyler being in this general direction. Tyler, if you're watching us, tell us which seat. The buckets are Let's here. see. Oh, it's probably not that one. Someone says it has a green X with tape on it, but I also oh, wanted to see if you were filling it. I saw a green somewhere. Hello? Are you looking for the seat? Yeah. Yeah. Why do I not see anything with green tape? I saw a green tape somewhere. Did you? Yeah. Where was it? Oh, there. Back further? Okay, let me set up, get the REM pod. And so I don't know if everybody in the past knows, but there's a portal in this theater that spirits are constantly coming in and out of. So I'm gonna set the music box right up here at the front. So if anything is down around there. Were you guys whispering? No. Was there whispering? What was that? Outside door. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's set this here too. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, never mind. Okay. 
Hello, A. Howie. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for the roses. It was clear back here. Yeah. Do you feel anything? I feel really anxious. Really? Yeah. My heart is racing again. Can you make a noise if you're here? What is what that? What is that? Thank you for the galaxy. What was that? That was full on scraping. That's an emergency exit. So if I were to open that, it would sound an alarm, so I can't check. Can you please do that again? Okay, that was right next to you. Yes, that was right there. Another one. Deeper that time. What's on the other side of this? Another Looks container. like it's outside. Are you okay? Yeah. What does it sound like they're okay? That scared me. I wish I could run around the outside of the building to see, because I don't want to sound an alarm with the exit, but. Okay, that's right next to it. What is. Thank you for the hanging lights. You okay? Um, okay. Is there a man there? Um, um, there was a shadow on the other side of the plastic that was really, like, it was low and it went no one just walked by right did no, you see no. anybody just walk by no. there was a full freaking shadow that just walked by about the same like it would have been a kid size just like freaking mike saw i feel someone walking behind me really i, I full-on felt someone walking behind me like i felt the footsteps you could feel the footsteps? Yeah, like, yeah. I saw full, like, it was like a kid side shadow. See, I've been feeling a child in here. You have too? Yeah, and I keep getting the name Henry or Harry. I keep really? I a little boy. Oh, I need phasma box too. Let's try, oh, I'm kind of nervous. Um, <laughs> let's try the Essie's method. Okay. See if maybe the name will come through. I cannot. That was a full. And I don't know if everybody on here could see it. Because, like, there was, like, a light. Like, the light reflected off the plastic. But you could see something clear as day just move right across from, like, right to left. I would say it's about where the stairwell is, too. Like, distance-wise. Kelly, I, thank you for the hanging lights. If anyone got that, please post recording. I want to see that. Oh, my gosh. At first, I thought one of the team members had walked by, but there's no one that short. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing that you said that, because I've been feeling a little kid. Really? Yeah. And I feel like he's messing with us. Really? Like, it's not, it's not evil or anything. Not it's just he's playing. Just playful? Yeah. Where? Do you want to do this? Sure. Or do you want me to do this? It's your call. I'll let you decide. I know you've never done it before. No, I've so never done it. So if you want to try it, you can. Okay. If I can't if get you, anything, then we'll switch. If you don't want it, if you don't want to do it, then you don't have to. No, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> okay. Can you hold the camera for yes. just a moment? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, the beautiful Bennett rain. I forgot the spirit box. <laughs> oh no. I had everything but the spirit box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, do you want? Do you hear that too? What was that? that? That's that scraping again. There was scraping, but there was also one back in the back corner. There was like both sides that time. Thank you. Oh, my heart. Hey, hey, hey. That just went off. And it walked right towards you. My heart. It oh. started on this side and it went right Stop. towards you. Stop. My heart okay? fluttered and I didn't even see that. And I was going to say, oh my God, my heart. And then you were like, oh, that's. Are that you serious? Yeah. <laughs> to you oh that was intense okay <sighs> wow that was a lot okay oh wow all migraine. right you okay getting a migraine you all right mm -hmm. you want to do the estes
Yes, I gotta go grab the spirit box. Okay. If you wanna come with, you can because I don't wanna leave you like. No, we'll, we're good. Here. We're Are you good. sure? Yep. You sure? Yep. I flew from Florida to do this. So I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I set that there. I'll okay. Go. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, my heart is racing. Okay. If you're here, can you walk towards me again? You did it before. Can you set off that music box? Oh, thank you for the hanging lights. You guys, it is dark in here. <sighs> yes, I have investigated in St. Augustine. I'm from Florida. This is Swamp Witch, by the way. <laughs> Can you make that knock again if you're in here with me, please? I know you're here. Can you knock on that wall again for me, please? Oh, thank you so much, whoever said I was pretty. Don't be bashful now, it's okay. Are you the little boy that's here? Is your name Henry or Harry? I... Maybe that was Bennett. Yeah, okay, that was Bennett. Okay. Yes, Swamp Witch has the camera right now. Man, my chest, my chest is so tight. Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Anything? No. Is your heart racing? Ooh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Big time. Okay. And ever since being in here and back in this front area. Yeah. The migraine behind my left eye. Yeah. I don't want to, like, shine the light on you if your head's hurting. Oh, no, you're good. No, you're absolutely fine. I also brought this in case we wanted to watch for oh, yeah. shadows because we did see a bunch last time. Perfect. I have to... Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. Sure? Yep. You guys, please send some love to the amazing Bennett Rain. She deserves it. Look at that woman. She is amazing. Oh, you're amazing too. Glasses, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, blow it up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> is that going off? That's going off now. Wow. There, 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 again, oh right my towards you again. This time it started right here and moved right towards you again. And just so you guys can see, there is nothing in front of that to set that off, nothing. It hasn't done anything since we set it up, right? No, it's been completely quiet until we walked away from it. Yeah. Can you step away from that for just a second? Please? Can you please step to the left? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's feeling heavier. Do you want the camera back? I'm sorry, I just hijacked it from oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was trying to help set this up. Too. Okay. You didn't hijack it, I did did you? That's incredible. It's just going off steadily, like someone's standing there. Can you please step away from. What, what was, was that? that? What was that? There's a laser, I can't see. You heard that though. No, right? I, I did hear it and I thought I saw a shadow, but it's hard to see with the laser. Did you did the laser just shift? It did. It uh, yeah, it did again. It's killing my battery. Did you guys see that? The laser moved. It, the the lights moved backwards. Are you playing with the laser pen? Does it look like those curtains are moving? 
Yes, <laughs> absolutely. They should not still be moving since I came through. It, it the, jeez, that thing's going crazy. This was dead silent when we were sitting here before. Completely quiet. Yeah. Well, it shifted my laser, so now the front doesn't work as well. Do you not want us to, to see that. you? Is mm -hmm. that what's going on here? I don't want to get it. Do you want to sit near the seat or away from the seat? Is that? Safety first. What? What? Maybe it's just the angle. The laser looked like it was dying and then coming back on. Are you draining the batteries? Is anybody sending us pizza? By the way, I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost hunting takes a lot out of you. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. I am always like drained for probably like a week after. Yeah. Um, where where would you like me to sit up here? Where do you feel safest? This is good. I feel okay here. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's do that. And I'm gonna have to reset that and figure out what's going on with the lasers. Okay. Do you okay. know how to do this? No. <laughs> I need to. Okay. So basically, it's sensory deprivation. Okay. So you're gonna have a blindfold on. Okay. And then you're going to have. The headphones hooked up to the spirit box. Okay. Anything you hear come through the spirit box, you'll say. Okay. I'm asking the questions you can't hear right. anything I'm saying. Right. So we'll just kind of see the... Okay, it feels darker in the back of the room. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. start this too. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so did you just hiss? No, that, yeah, that was me exhaling, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that was me. Now, if this is too much for you at any point, just let me know. Okay. Because every time I do it, I can get very, very overwhelmed. It just got really cold in here again. Okay. So, here's the blindfold. Okay. And you can use, like, the black side out if you want so you don't have to have Oh, one. yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then you can use... Take the camera so you can balance this in your lap. So there's the spirit box. Oh, I just hit a button. Okay, it's still working. Okay. okay. And you can take the blindfold off to get this, <laughs> I think. Mm, this side is left with okay. the cord. Okay. Oh. Can you hear me? I just tripped on the garbage can. Done it. Oh, jeez. Of course. <laughs> what do you want with me? I see you. Oh, my. You see me? What do you want? Go. Okay. <laughs> That's not Run. comforting. Um, are you the little boy? Are you the man that likes this theater? I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Leave. Are you mad? She's not sitting in your seat. Why do you want us to run and leave? And yes, she just did twitch. Vincent. Hmm. What do you want with Vincent? Kendall? Is your name Kendall? Ran. Kendall ran. And if anybody has questions. I'm trying to leave. watch her leave again. Leave again. I know the spirit box always does say leave. It's so trippy. Bennett. Oh my. That was very clear. Oh, jeez. Um, are you Henry? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Henry, are you the one wanting us to leave? Yeah, she's very good. At Whoa. Okay. What was Kay. that? Okay. Did someone hit me? No. Nobody touched me? No, no one touched you at all. But there was another knock on the wall. 
You could feel that? It keeps saying Bennett. No, I felt something touch my shoulder. They're scratching again. What is on the other side of this wall? There's phone locking again. I don't know. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. It keeps saying her name. Like, very clearly. Are you okay to do it for another? Yeah. We're not keeping me here on this side. If not, let me know. No, I'm good. Okay. It was just weird when someone touched me. Someone did touch you? Yeah, something touched my shoulder. Was it this side, right over here? Here. Oh, weird, because I saw you react looking the opposite way at 1.2. No, it was just a no. Yelling through it. I am human, thank you for the roses. Tad to Queen, hey. thank you. How many spirits are here? What? How many spirits are here? Henry, are you trying to protect us from something else? Lights. Do you not like the light on? I can kind of dim it down. Bennett. <laughs> Why do you keep saying my name? Come. Where do you want me to go? That's potentially some mine. Outside. Okay, Please someone. I, okay, someone just said that they saw something, and I actually thought I saw something too. I don't know Bennett. where you saw it, but mine again. How old are you? Old. Wow. How did you die? Wondering. You died wondering? <laughs> you saw a figure too? It was back by the lasers, right? Like kind of back towards the... I thought I saw something back towards the back of the room. <laughs> Can you turn the lasers off? What is that? Um, Run. Okay, no, it feels like it's getting really heavy. You. Okay, why do you want me to leave so bad? Look out. Look out from what? Is there something dangerous in this theater right now? Bennett. Oh. Listen, no. They're right there. Okay, I'm starting. My heart is actually starting to race and starting to hurt a bit. Eyes first. Eyes first. Okay, temperature is dropping in this room, and my my heart is starting to race. I'm starting to kind of get a panicky feeling on the inside. Something is behind her. I feel like there's something in that very back corner. How many spirits are in this room? Something to the right of her. Is there someone sitting to the it's right? It's complicated. Oh. Is someone sitting to the right, I guess her left? Yes, Estes method. No. No, no one's sitting there? There's a knock in the back of the room. Oh. There's a knock. There's just like a hiss in my ear. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It is in that back corner. Are you affecting her? It's weird. Someone said they saw a cat and Tracy. Please. please? Tracy actually sees a Why cat. Are we here? We're here to try to communicate. Are you okay with us a trying thousand? to communicate? A thousand. What's. Who's the kid that we were seeing? Holding. Holding. Holding what? Get rid of them. Holding, get rid of them. Something is moving in the back of the room.
A thousand is legion. Are you, I hate to ask this question, are you legion? Okay, okay. What did you, what just the happened? The chair just moved. Did you hear anything? The chair, you didn't no, hear I didn't hear anything, happened? but the question that I asked is right before that, and you reacting, it just really freaked me out. What did you ask? Well, you said a thousand. Yeah. So then people on the chat started saying a thousand is legion, a thousand is legion. So then I asked, are you legion? And then you reacted. Yeah, it felt like something like kicked my chair, like just came under and kicked it. I feel like something's moving in the back of the room. There's been a couple of like knocks and stuff in the back of the room. With that and the hiss, that was um, a lot. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. There's nothing back there though, right? I don't... No, no, not, not technically. No, shine There's... the light, shine the light. What? Do you see that? There's a shadow! What? What? There's what? a shadow! What? 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 Oh my gosh, I can't get the oh. light on! Oh my what? God, but I don't want to run towards it! I can't get the light on! Where? There we go. Where was the shadow? Oh my gosh. See, you could feel something and everybody was seeing a shadow. And then there's a wall here. It crossed right from here into here. It was a child. That was the same child that I saw. That was so Freaking clear. Shadow. It was a black shadow. Yeah, that's what I saw earlier too. If anybody saw that, please share that. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm panicking. Oh my gosh. You saw it too? Yeah, no, I saw it really clearly. What's weird is when I saw it, it had crossed from this side over to this side. And, and now you back. saw it freaking... So it's in... Is it in here? Are you in here? That was me. Okay. That was me. Can you unplug this? Is there a child in here? Or is it going to say my? Right. Oh, to the right? My right or your right? Are you hiding from us? Who did she see? Oh, yeah, I guess right could have meant right. Like, yeah, there is. Oh, my gosh. My heart is pounding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you playing hide and seek? Do you want us to look Turn for you? Up. Do you want to play hide and seek? Look. It just said game. Did it really? Yeah, it just said game. So it said look and then game. Yeah. So you want to play hide and seek then?
investigation. Don't worry. You want to switch? A few more minutes. Let these guys grab this and then let her come and eat. And then, um. It's going to be alright. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, okay. Who said this? I don't know. I don't know. It's delivered. So, you want. You want it's not delivered, it's the Jordan. Just, you guys go in, for, go, go in for a couple more minutes. It looked like a tall, lanky figure got up and walked to the right in the back of the So you theater. could see it in the feed? It looked like you could see it in the feed. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, anybody, please Sorry. share that. Yes, Caitlin S. So, Caitlin thank S., you thank you so, for the so much. Pizza. We're going to make sure that these guys get. Thank you if so you much, Caitlin. Still anything in there? No. Maybe take it for it a couple was minutes. Like Freaking the kid wanted to play hide and seek. That's yeah. like the answers we started getting on the spirit box. So we followed where she saw the shadow go into this little film projector room, and then we we're getting like hide and seek game. Look, okay. like it was like a kid so almost want wanting to play for a game. A few minutes? Sure. Are you hungry though? I know you're hungry. I'm hungry, but we can go a few minutes if you Just want. Just go a few minutes, Kay. and then you guys switch Kay. out so these guys can eat, and then they'll switch. And okay, then perfect. Go. Um, thanks again, Caitlin S, for the pizza. Yes, yes. thank, thank you, you so guys. much. Oh my gosh. Back here? Are you? No, no one's back here. Oh, hear no. That? Oh, Tracy. Oh, okay. Tracy, oh go, please. <laughs> I was like, are you sure? Okay, now there's for sure no one back here. Okay. She just went and grabbed some plates. Do you still want this on? Maybe. Just for a second. Let me see if we can get any more on the kid responding. Just to see, maybe. Oh my gosh, it's so much colder in here. Freezing. Who moved the laser? Ovulus, yeah, I have that. Where did I put that? Oh, pocket. Sweet. Okay, Ovulus is now on as well. Is there the anybody? Reason. What did that just say? A reason? A reason, yeah. Yeah. A reason for what? Do you like us being in here? Unstable again. Um, unstable. If I go no. further down, do I get the connection back? General. I think so. So some people are losing, like, there's a lag, and other people aren't. Is going. Yeah. Like, you that? Yeah. As soon as we saw the shadow, it started going. Yeah. Agreed. That's very weird. Do you not want us to see you? Okay. People want me to try the SDs now, okay. so I guess I will do that now. Yep. Um, time. Uh, I don't want to sit. Move on. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera. That just said demon. Did it really? Fiddle. You can keep an eye on that and see if it says anything as well. Okay. That just went off by you again. Did it really? Yeah. Do you like me? Do you want to come stand by me? You're safe here. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Should. You should stand by me. Okay. You're welcome kinda, to if you want to. Kind of nervous with how many times it's saying my name. Yes, <laughs> they were saying a, a lot. <laughs> and leave and run and... Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Bennett, there's a spider Wait. on you. What is your name? Malenko. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Malenko, are you attached to me or anyone of the team? Malenko, are you here? Is 
Is there a spirit here with me? Only? Only? You. Me? What is my name? Me. Oh, wow. Um, don't like that. <clears throat> Taller. Taller? Was that you? There's I... a cloak? It just said cloud when she said cloak. A time... It... It's weird, but it almost sounded like it said a time traveler. What? That's so weird. Mom? It keeps saying mom. I am not your mom. Neither is Bennett, just so we're clear. Was it you I saw pass in front of the curtain? Oh. What happened? Mm. We have unstable connection. Again? Uh. That just moved. Yes, it did. I saw it through the lights behind you. <gasps> and it just went out? Just killed it. Uh, it's moving. It is moving. It is absolutely moving. Are you messing with the laser grid right now? Yep. Would you like to use that to communicate? Yes? Video. It just said video. It looks like it doesn't... Can you flash that twice if you were the spirit who passed in front of the curtain? Is there a shadow moving by that curtain again? It looks like there's a shadow by the laser. Someone's playing with the laser. That is very strange. I also keep hearing knocking over here, but I'm trying to ignore it because it's scary. Again? Yeah. That was going on when you were doing it too. Was it really? Yeah. Do you want to keep trying or? Just a gym. Yeah, I'll try it again for a second. That's okay. so weird. Okay. It gets like full on, like it moved. Like you could see it like yeah. shift. Okay. And just so you guys know, it's on a, a flat surface. There's no reason it should be moving. Get out. Oh, great. Was it you who touched me? Eleven. Eleven? What's the name of the person or spirit who touched me? Leave. What do you want with Bennett? Total. That was interesting. How old are you? It just said course. Time to leave. How old are over, you? Over you? Over me? Is that you playing with the laser grid? Bennett. Yeah, they like Bennett a lot. I cannot repeat what it just said after it said my name. Oh, God. Are you being inappropriate to Bennett? That thing is going nonstop. Are you stuck here? Oh my God, it just said shoot. We go to I good. Hear... Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? Get out. Did you? Pass away in here? Something. I hear tapping. Okay, is there something Murphy. moving around me? I don't see anything. 
Why? What did you feel? It just felt like something was coming up along here, and then it felt like something was standing right here in front of me. So I was expecting to like pull the blindfold off, and you were right there, but you're clear over there. Really? But it came up from behind. I could feel a breeze on my back, and then something was right here. Like I could just feel something right there. That's what I felt when something touched my shoulder. I felt something really? behind me. Yeah. It's still doing that too. It just said Murphy and then hide, and we were playing hide and seek. Oh. Hide. I feel like there are multiple spirits in here. I don't think it's just yeah, little kids. No, it's multiple. I agree. I definitely agree. And they love Bennett. They always do. <laughs> Ooh, not all of them. Oh. The thing that it literally said my name and then it said something I can't really repeat on TikTok, I don't think. Oh, boy. It was not nice. Like, towards you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, towards me. Needless to say, something did not want me alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to be respectful to Bennett. Whoever is in here, you need to be nice. You can't treat the team that way. You okay? You all right, Bennett? Yeah. She's trying to get really, really, really uneasy for me. Who's back there? wide. I don't know what that means. Everybody's saying leave and go eat. Yeah, maybe. Thank you for the solar system. That's beautiful. Bennett deserves it right now. That's so weird. Yeah, something like snuck up behind me and then there was something right in front of me. So it was like I was being blocked on both sides. Yeah. And then something came through, said my name, and then... When you guys have been said, here before, I feel like you're targeted. By, right? by whatever's here. Right, and I thought it was the one doll that we got rid of the one time, but now I'm starting to think not so much the doll. No, I, I think there's something here that really likes you. Likes me or doesn't like me? Well, we're going to go with likes, just <laughs> I know, for comfort. Right? Just for, <laughs> okay, we'll switch it to somebody else. Hopefully they... Ian, we'll take a break for a bit. Okay. Oh, this is a little. It's loose. weird as how this hasn't gone off again. It is strange. Nothing. Yeah, I was going nonstop before. Okay. Do you need help? No, nope. I'm good. That shadow was the craziest thing I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, I know. That was. It's. It was. You described like the exact same height that I saw, but I don't know if the one I saw was caught on video. Like I'm really hoping it was, but I don't know. If I hope so. I really hope one of them was, at least. I hope one of them was, too. Yeah, that's a full kid moving around, like. Thank you guys for the gifts. Paranosis appreciates it. That's so weird. And if you are not following Swamp Witch, go follow Swamp Witch immediately. What was that? What was that? That. You heard that, right? You no, know, I did. It sounded like little, like... Footsteps. I heard little footsteps. I heard the little kid is, like, trying to get our attention. When we're back here... Do you want to come eat pizza with us? Maybe he's lonely. Maybe. Go follow Swamp Witch immediately. She's amazing, and it's such an honor to Aww. have her right here tonight. Like, she's Thank you. amazing. That's, that's me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to. Then it saves the day. She is the equipment queen. Okay. Five hours. Had to take a break. Something was getting not nice. Peggy, some food and then Tyler and Tyson and Herb. Sorry, I'm saying things here for a half second. So if you need something, go ahead and grab Okay. Come grab. Okay, we are passing the torch. <laughs> uh, passing the torch. Who was it? Uh, I think Tyler and Tyson, TNT. TNT. TNT, not Merck? Uh, Merck's going to go too. Oh, I was going to say, isn't it the three amigos? Yeah, the three amigos. Uh, you guys feeling good about what happened? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> For sure. Swamp Witch, you? I do. I feel like there's a child in there that was playing with us. So them. you filled yeah. the child and finally. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey. There you are. 
There you are. Do your party noise for Caitlin S. for sending the pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, longer than that, man. I was like, Nineteen thirty-nine, folks, is when the theater was built. Uh, you guys ready to rock? Uh, take the equipment, whatever you're gonna take. And then let's me and you do that anointment, if you will. Okay, real cool. Yep. Yeah. I just feel like something's kind of got to. Where are you finding three amigos going? What do you want? Two ties and a merc. Someone said. <laughs> two ties and a merc. Come get you some. Instead of TNT, yeah, it's TNT this so time. And then if there's a soda you want, it's in there, and then I'll just I'll get that. So you too. If there's sodas back in that snack room if you want to drink. Oh, so, okay, cool. Okay. And my lips are super huh? dry. You already have for ten bucks for That's fine. Oh, thank you. No, I'll, I'll I'm gonna get some beat. They're getting it right now. Mm-hmm. No, can't like my... knocks in there and then like we could like I saw the shadow once move one way and then she saw it move the other way. Yeah. So you guys saw the shadows. <laughs> what are you what? doing, man? He zoomed in on your face. <laughs> Why did I give the two-year-old the camera? <laughs> Should we maybe man have someone else man the camera? Man the camera. Man the camera. Look at that stash. Ooh. Huh? So look at that stash. Apparently a bunch of people were mad that I said I was supposed to shave my mustache. Yeah. Really? They were very oh. upset about it. Really? Dude, if you're going to do it. Oh, do you got an onk on your back? I do. Oh, my God. Can I check it out? Yeah, of course. Oh, hell Oh, my gosh. That dude. is amazing. Oh, cool. Dude, okay. We brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah. That was badass. I didn't that know that. That's so That's cool. cool. Right on. Where are you guys going? Mm, I don't know. Guys? Do I feel good with Does you having a camera? Of course. We're going Let me make sure that iPhone upstairs? is like oh. locked in place. Good luck I think there's still one. a bed out there that if I drop your phone, then... Yeah, but let's I not... No, I haven't seen that team hey, we on here for a while. Okay, you guys ready to rock? Thank you for the Where's galaxy! Tyler? Ty? Can't do anything though. Where's the other half of Team G? He went out that way. Tyler? Tyler? Dooby dooby doo ba. Does anyone know where Tyler James is? More pizza. Where's he at? Right there, more pizza. More pizza? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was watching that for you. Oh my lord. That's a lot of pizza. Oh. <laughs> it's steamy. Look at the steam. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you're not yeah. You want to get Only you and me have seen it. Oh, I guess all those people did. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Is this one in? Oh, Inception. Do we got a name on these ones? Um, I don't think so. Jeez. Jeez. Right. Oh, yeah. I definitely do not want that. Yeah. Do you want like all of Yeah. Oh, they need a name. Okay. So, uh, whoever just sent, are we on focus? Yeah, we're good. Go look at it. Make sure it's good. Yeah. <laughs> make sure I It's good. It's perfect. Whoever just sent three more pizzas in the bread, thank you. Whatever we do not eat, we will take uh, to the homeless. We passed a few homeless camps um, on the way out here. We'll take uh, maybe sunglasses. a few more pieces. But uh, there's no name on this, so you know who you are. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll take a couple slices of this, and then we're going to take it to the homeless. So thank you so much um, for passing the kindness on. Okay, Tyler. Beautiful. Is right there. Tyson, right there. Mm -hmm. You guys ready to rock it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're coming. Do you guys need equipment? It's going to go with your...
shoes and glasses? What should we bring, Mark? I don't know. It's a good question. Huh? I don't understand what the cotton's about. Make sure you thank the gifters and tell everybody to follow us and like us if they're not. Okay. What was that? What was that noise? Yeah. It's like right here you did what was it a knock one two three. Oh, that wasn't you no oh, i thought it was tyler no <laughs> Should we set this up please Looks like there's eyes. Do you guys see that? Oh, they're gone. Oh, there they are. Tyson, lean your head up just a tip. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Freeze. Don't nobody move. What? What? Ooh, that's scary. What is it? Go open, go open that door. This one? Yeah. Nobody? Nothing? Huh? No. Nothing? Huh? Do me a favor, stand out of the doorway and shine it on the clock that's behind you. Take that light, Tyler. <laughs> Take a step left. I think it was that. Uh, that copper pink, clock. clock. Yeah, I think it was a reflection. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Do you know how to get this to like, speak? Yeah. Uh, I'll never use this thing. Like this One fifty. There you go. Nice. Dude. I don't know who that is. Yeet. That's the best profile picture I've seen in a while. Ooh. That's gross. I don't like that door. You don't like this door? Well, like, come look at it on the camera. It looks like there's just some, like, red eyes staring. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. 
そういうのが出るペブキプセインチェックのコーン、I don't understand why. チェックのコーン、The cone out in the hallway? Here. Alright, let's go check the cone real quick. Alright, let's go check the cone real quick. This thing's not going to explode. Crap. Sounds like sparky.、Mm-hmm. I hope not. Yeah, we don't need that trash in the car. If there's somebody in that office, can you move that door? Is there anybody here with us? Can we put this in that office? 
appear on the obvious. Yeah, maybe put the, the office. Yeah, see if you can prop that office door open. Um, is there anything in that room we can prop in front of it? If only you had a flashlight, industrial. I don't even know where my flashlight is. Yeah, I don't think it's okay. Good. I got you, my friend. Is there something here that wants to appear for us? Mm. I don't know what we can use. Oh, dude. Yes, yeah. sir. Before it said appear, and it just said here with full power. Ooh. Who's here with us? Put a chair. Tell us or show us who you are. Put the chair there. Huh? Send. Yeah, it's really good. Saw. If you're here, touch that blue light on the chair. Show us you're here. Give us a sign that you're here with us. Saw. Is that relevant? I don't know. You said give us a sign. Or show us that you're here and then it's like saw. Yeah, I'll put this in there go. Do we want to try like the. the ne Necrophonic Necrophonic? instead of the spirit box? Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot yeah. out of the spirit box. We can switch it, yeah. What do you guys think? Should we switch it to the necrophonic? Necro, please, all right. Can you make that blue light in the doorway light up? If you're here with us, can you please make a noise? Wait. Who's here with us? What's your name? You, that was, that was creepy. You like us being here? I just say die. Say die or stop. Happy and sad. I'm not a huge fan of my back to this doorway. Is there anyone standing behind Mike right now? Can you tell us? Hold it. What was that jingling? Let's just say we are. We are? Can you make that noise again for us? Sure. Hate you? Why do you hate us? Mm -hmm. 
speaker that? Why does home terribly so? I apologize, people. <laughs> that scared me. What scared you? Dude, that scared the heck out of me. Was that a hiss? I don't know what it was. God, you screamed and rolled my ankle. <laughs> I to get out of the way. <laughs> Lord. I'm going to turn this light back down. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt so bad. I was standing right here and you screamed. I went like this to get out of your way. <clears throat> Is there anyone in here with me? Should we do a blackout session in the office? Should we do blackout here? Yeah, we should go in the office and do it. Yeah, come on, man. In the office? Oh. Close the door. Oh, I may God. or may not have just like. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Our table. Our periscope. <laughs> it's broken. It's broken. Chip. See you leave. We're not ready to leave yet. There we go. Ew. That was gross. You ready for the blackout? Alright, black was baby out. He's popping a squat there. I'm popping a squat here and he's got a squat there. If you scream. I moved the camera towards you. You can't see anything. You. How many people are in this room right now? Three. Who's holding the camera right now? Can you tell us his name? Oh, 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 oh. Periscope. Dang. Dang, right as I talked about that. Why are you leaving? Come I'm back I'm not going to lie. I got a huge cold rush. Now that pain is gone. Right as you said you had a headache, I started feeling dizzy. Like Dude, I, what does that sound? Like what does that sound? Dead. Was that like something moving towards me? I heard that. I don't know what it was. It was like... Yeah. Like a wrestling? Yeah. 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 No, we're not leaving yet. Was that you that just caused pain to me? Dude, it feels like there's somebody standing right on me. I'm so cold. Oh, oh my god. Dude, the light just went out. How do I get this light back on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you notice that the 360 went off right as we heard that? Yeah. I don't think I got it on camera though. Who just made the noise Wait, outside the door? That? that was a growl. Is that coming from the projection room or the stairwell? I don't know. Is there someone walking? Hello? It sounds like the stairwell. Hello? Probably open that door. <laughs> Are you gonna leave me alone in here? Anyone here? Oh, what? Dude, was that? did you hear that? I did. I didn't hear a thing. What happened? Some just hissed at us right behind you. Who's there? Who's hissing at us? 
Show yourself. <laughs> Necrophonic just said girl. <laughs> Go, Marcel. I'm sitting right here. If you're here with us, give us a knock. That's me, that's me, that's me. That's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah. Dude, that was like a cry. It's like a kid's voice. I keep hearing like a little boy's voice. Ew. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's terrible? Yeah. I don't know. Right. Okay, you're good. That door should stay open. Is there a little kid here with us? Probably because of me. Dude. What? Again. I didn't hear kid. it. I didn't hear it over my scooting. Oh my gosh. Oh. That door's open now, so. It's like a little kid's voice. It's like, huh? <laughs> who, who is the child that is here with us? <laughs> Anger? Help? Yeah. Sounds like walking. Yeah. Yeah. There's that noise. There is that noise again. What is that noise? It sounded like this. I didn't even move. Didn't it sound like this? I don't know, something moved inside In, Inside that, that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even touch it. It's freaking fluffy from creep show. <laughs> it's a mogwai. We're in a teeny room. Oh, we're like, getting, my back is against the wall. We're getting movement out there, and now it's like there's movement in here even with us. Whoa. What was that? Ting? Tingling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You sound like chains. Ew. I just heard that. Who's making noise? Can you give us a name? Oh, mm. I swear I just heard a kid's voice go, Mike. Through that, the necrophonic or? No. What was that? I'm telling you, that's the same exact thing I heard. That's that kid's voice that, that I've been hearing. I just heard my name from that same that voice. Sounded like, it, to that me, sounded it sounded like, like a door creak, but from where I'm sitting. It sounded like a little kid's say I'm help here. or something. Do you need help? <clears throat> Size? Uh. What? Did you not hear that? Uh -uh. What was that? Didn't that just sound like you said Mike? I don't know. I'm getting sick to my stomach, dude. Actually, I am too. It's, 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 yeah, my, my yeah. Tie in my side. Uh, what is that? The stairway. The last thing I want to do is walk out of this comfort zone. <laughs> and my flashlight's all the way across the room. Well, Test them boundaries. Should Mike go explore out into the other room? Direction. What the hell? Mike should. It forward. just said Mike should. It just said forward. Oh, 
Hello? Hello? Uh, <laughs> Hello? Hey, you know that doll that was downstairs? Which one? Uh, the, that one that I moved the earlier? Creepy ones? Yeah. Um, is that a shoe? Uh, scared? yeah, I'm kind of hoping... Wait, what? what is I'm going to move the camera around without moving my position and hope it's that doll. It is. Dude, what? That doll, the look at the camera, dude. Little kid, like, peeking. Kid the doll? It's right at the top of the stairs. No way. Um, can we kick it back up? Take it back. Oh, oh my it. god, you just kicked that down there? Yeah, screw that. I don't want that. That's terrifying. You can have it back. I'm just gonna. <sighs> oh. Yes, I'm uh, not. I'm gonna grab my flashlight before I sit back down. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. Ugh. Friggin' Chucky's cousin coming in here? That's what I'm telling you. All three of us could take a I feel like I'm gonna throw up. No. <laughs> I'm 350 pounds and nothing but table muscle. <laughs> I'm rolling down the stairs faster than that dog will. <laughs> I got ankles like Achilles. Table muscle. Uh, nine? You clear the path for us. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be the you'll be the front freight train. People are saying that doll was in the crying room. That's moved a couple human. times tonight. Human, hasn't it? It's just a human. What is that obvious? Yeah. Um, that thing ain't human. That gave me chills. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to talk to it. Is uh. <clears throat> Is there anybody here with us? Really quiet. As soon as I closed that door, it got super quiet. Was that the... Oh shoot, was that the child spirit? I got a really bad feeling... Heavy in here all the time. Yeah. No, it feels sick to my stomach, but I got a really bad feeling about this. Did you try to come and play with us? And Mike kicked you down the stairs? Yeah. They said you just kicked the baby. Yeah, screw that baby dealer. <laughs> Better that baby than us. That's I'm sorry. True. Go downstairs? Yeah, I'll go down the other stairs. I ain't going down the, the stairs down the nowhere. Cone. The cone? I guess. I don't know what the cone is doing. Ooh. Why am I going by myself? I thought we said we, not Mike. Hello? The periscope's going off? Yeah. <laughs> Figured we'd give Mark some company. Thank you. Yeah, that's oh, a lot shit. more than six steps. Oh. Mark's going to kick the cone down the stairs, too. Uh, no. What is? Oh, is it? The, uh, you know that doll that was in the crying room? Uh-huh. It was at the top of the stairs. What stairs are Can I see it? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Is 
or I guess you don't know the doll that was at the top of the stairs. You know the doll that was in the crying room? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the, uh, it's not in the bottom of something, wherever those other stairs went. But, uh. It's where like where you say it's upstairs it was upstairs now i kicked it down the stairs because that's the last thing i want to deal with that thing is moving around the crying thing. we've all been in there and that was a hundred percent in here what yeah so uh yeah okay i heard a couple noises we heard what sounded like a kid and then i came out of the room from what what's his name leroy or or uh, ron whatever was upstairs yeah yeah his office we were sitting in there trying to do necrophonic and uh we heard some kid voices so we went out and uh doll's just chilling at the bottom of the stairs so i kicked it because screw that you all right yes it's my with you so you guys good for a minute Okay, since we're running on battery time and we're running on the 12 o'clock, me and you ready to rock in a minute? We are. I'm going to have Bennett kind of thank some people really quick. Bennett, you want to thank everybody? And we're going to get some equipment, me and Corey. Um, oh, my gosh. So just like the gifters. And thanks, everybody, for following. And see if we can get some more followers up there. They're right just there. eating. Hello, everybody. I just, like he said, thank you so, so much to all of the gifters tonight. Taylor, thank you so much for the hearts. That's so amazing. He Absolutely that amazing. Back up there? Yeah. Thank it you the to of all of the new viewers that we have. Shannon, thank we you so much for the roses. City Morgan, good to see you again. Thank you for the roses. Caitlin, 699, thank you. Oh, hi, hi, yeah. Joe. Sorry if I, I say that, that wrong. That thank you so much. Awesome. Teddy, GO622, yeah. Troy Stewart. Thank that you. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. You guys this are amazing. Was, yeah. And Steffi, you know, thank you. Nice. Fallon, Cinderella. Really, really oh, my gosh. That's cool, yeah. I can't keep up with you guys now. Dang. Thank you so much. You guys are the most amazing pair of family in the entire freaking world. Thank you so much. I can't even keep up with your names. Um, Paranosis my fan, friend, my yeah. Leslie, Cinderella, yeah. Sassy. Paranosis, <laughs> Aunt Lori swallowed. Shannon, thank you so, so much. I cannot believe your love. You're incredible. Thank you. Oh, I love the glasses. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, the little beaver. Thank you, Ramblers. Sorry, I can't. I know that's bad, but I just love it. It's so cute. I love it. Um, Some hot chick. We just got more pizza. Thank you to whoever sent that. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to do that magic trick where you pull it oh and out to the table. You're supposed to be on that. Yeah. Do we have a name on this? You guys are too <laughs> kind, and we are going to feed what the homeless. What happened to your hair? This. Did it fall out? Was it an old, was it an old sleeked back? You look Can like you, you went through some this? craziness. I can't see I mean, it looks good, but it, it looks uh, more like this. No, I, I see what John Shaft. He took his ponytail off. John S. It looks good. John S., thanks for the Marcos pizza. Paranormal, it's thank you. It's probably safe to say we got enough pizza. Baby face. We're going to be Keep donating me. this to the, the homeless as we drive back into Salt Lake. There's a lot of homeless camps. We'll take that in. So thank you. Um... What is it again? Oh my gosh! John S. John S. John S. Thank you. Thank you. Pizza thank you. Party oh That's like you. six pizzas, you guys. Okay, well, so we're good on pizzas. <laughs> oh my thank god, you little guys. hearts. You Caitlin, baby face, thank you so much for the roses. Yes, thank you for all of the pizzas. Absolutely amazing. You guys are so kind. Like, so beyond kind. Thank you. Yeah. If you are not <laughs> following. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, you want to see amazing. the pizza? That is a really amazing looking pizza. So TW Leapfrog Shannon, thank you so much. If you are not following this absolutely incredible soul, you need to go follow her. Swamp Witch on TikTok. Go over. Oh, you got the cool glasses. You started moving your head and the glasses started going along with you. Swamp Witch. This is like an honor being able to investigate with you. Now you got other goggles. <laughs> Hector, thank you for the goggles. But yeah, she does true crime. She does paranormal. A lot of amazing videos and lives. So follow her. I think we are all very, and very you're gonna honored. You're stuff tomorrow yes. at some of our locations. You're yes. going to yes. talk about Case Cross. Mm. You've been invited to answer call. 
Tyler's gonna take you around. We got a, a good day planned for you. Yeah, yes. it's gonna so, be really exciting. Yeah, so. Oh, Wing Jam sent you a crown. <gasps> oh, thank you. Wing Jam, you Mountain, rock. thank you for the necklace. Caitlin, uh, Shasi, thank you. Ask Bubba, Wing thank Jam you for the paper. I sent Wing huh? Jam a message. Wing He's Jam, curious. did you get his message? You got his message? They say love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> You're amazing. I'm waiting for his response, but I haven't. Yeah. No, we're not done yet. I think we were just waiting to switch. No, but we're I just ready to do Malenko and the dolls and, and the devil. No, and dark. The devil. Dark. Yeah, okay, that. there we go. Oh, SLA, see, Mom, thank you. Rick Ellison, yeah. honey, thank you <laughs> so much. Popcorn Vincent's going to take that one. Yes. Um, honey, Caitlin, thank you. Henchman, Debbie, you guys are yeah, incredible. Yeah. Ramblers, thank you for the owl. Oh, That's nice. so cute. I love the little animal ones. I do too. I think those cute. are so fun. Debbie, thank you. Edski, thank you for the confetti. Thank you to everybody who sent the pizzas. Thank you to all the new followers. If you're not following us, go and like our page, follow us, set up the notifications if you want to, so you can see all of our upcoming lives. We do the Q and A's on Wednesday, and then the investigations on Friday. Thank We're you not to. Leaving, are we? Huh? We're not like ending the live, are we? No. Everyone's saying bye. <gasps> no, don't leave. No, no, we're not leaving. Vincent and Corey are going to be next. They're just kind of grabbing the equipment and stuff. And then I was just saying thank you to everybody. Thank you to all of our amazing mods that are on here tonight. And I think the new mod, Caitlin, welcome. Thank you so much for helping Ryan. Thank you for the uh, origami. Sorry, that's a dark, dark view. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes, you are in Vincent's hands now. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. You guys, ready for a treat. You all right? Yeah. You be all right there, Bidet? Watch. 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 Whoa. He scares me. Jeez, you're gonna knock me in the he, uh, he scares me. Let me turn this light on really oh. quick. Can you hold this, Neil? Yeah. All that for two seconds. Me. Sorry. Blinded by light. So, um, I'm going to take you guys in to the main theater. We're gonna do some one-on-one -on -one time with uh, Malenko, like promised. And I'm doing this apprehensively because you heard what I talked about um, earlier. And I'm gonna put that to the test. I've got Corey coming in here with me and he's also going to be, uh, we can come in here and talk about it actually. Yeah. You're gonna be, so I, like I told you, I think I've been affected by opening the divot box. I don't think mm -hmm. I should have done it, and I feel like something's attached to me. You brought something, mm -hmm. right? And so you say you'd be better to do off camera? Yeah, best to do it off camera. Okay, so can we say what it is, or would you rather not? What was that? This. That's not supposed to make noise. It just did, yeah. You like a hissing or so I've, I've opened the Dybbuk box. I've put Malenko in the Dybbuk box. Swamp Witch connected with the Dybbuk box. Now, I've got some heartbreaking news. When Tyler and Tyson and Merck were up in the projection room, you remember when Swamp Witch was holding the <sighs> Malenko? She said that she got a dark visual, and she goes, can I say it on camera? And I said, that's up to you. Well, she didn't say it on camera for a reason, um, but she, I'm getting chills right now. Really just, I'm terrified to tell you guys what she told me. She pulled me aside about 10 minutes ago. She said, so Vincent, remember when I was holding Malenko and I got that really sick feeling and I wanted to tell you about it, but I didn't know if it was appropriate to, thank you for the lights, talk about it on TikTok. Um, so she just told me that when she was holding Malenko, when she said she had to put it down, that she had a very, very vivid visual of me getting in a car wreck and, um, not making it. So I'm really freaked out right now with the fact that I've been playing with, um, the Dybbuk and everything going on. I, I'm sharing this with you guys if something does happen to me know that I, I love each and every one of you and I'm grateful for everybody but 
when she said that, I got the sickest feeling in my stomach because she said that she has acclimated to so many dark things and to hold Malinko and get that visual. Whoa. And what? Periscope. Whoa. I am not feeling good, dude, okay? Was, so It's pretty close to the Dybbuk box, too. I just placed, placed it down there. <sighs> so she said she saw a very vivid visual of me in a car wreck. And she didn't say when, and then she started to cry, and she walked out of the room. It is bad. But I love you guys. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Me and Corey here, we're going to take the investigation. We're in the main theater room. Um, do you feel the temperature change? Yeah, it's definitely cooler in here. Okay, so it's cooler. Uh, we've got the dolls. We're going to leave you guys alone pretty soon with Malenko. At your own risk, of course. But um, right now we're going to send that. Thank you for the butterflies. You know what that means to me. And if anything does happen to me, um, know that I'll always be here with you guys. And I love you guys, each and every one of you. So, um, oh my gosh. We've got to go up. Can you? Okay, so now the light on the freaking camera isn't working. Can you take this battery? Mm -hmm. And my backpack is full of um, these lithiums, yes. Okay, be right back. Okay. Uh, where's those flashlights, too? Oh, they're right over here. Okay, right cool. See them? I'll just, yeah, I got it. Okay. So I'm just going to use this now. So um, I've got Malenko. Dude, that's Corey right there. And I'm hearing like ticking over here. So what I've got is I've got some things set up. I was hearing that too. You did? Yeah, I was hearing that too. So I've got the Dybbuk box set up. I've got Malenko. I've got the new dolls. I've got some old dolls. Um, I've got the Holy Bible. I've got some candles. We're gonna light them. I've got this nun doll. I don't know what that is gonna do, if anything. And very shortly, I'm going to be opening the Dybbuk box and I'm going to do a test with the Bible and Malenko. We're going to unmask him. And that's creepy because I, I swear that doll is just constantly looking up. I just, I just don't like it. It's, I just got a bad feeling. And to, and to hear Swamp Witch tell me what she told me. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm actually legitimately terrified, okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys about it. <clears throat> Did you grab that? Yeah, I found one. Okay, cool. And then, Neil? Yeah, will you make sure everybody stays in the safe room? Yeah. Thank you. I'm really actually pretty nervous about this you guys um thank you so much i appreciate you guys uh malenko i don't know he hasn't moved i i did move the dybbuk box and i put a ball there and i've moved some candles around um and i put the holy bible there i put some salt down um we're gonna set some equipment up here momentarily and get that going oh cool thank you and then Corey, you said you're okay with doing what we talked about, right? Because yeah. I've had this attachment now for about four days, and I'm I'm feeling yeah, it. I'm good. just feeling I'm feeling empty. I'm feeling dark. I'm feeling depressed. Dude, that's coming. It's this. It's the periscope. It keeps doing that. That is not supposed to make noise. That has never made any noise no. whatsoever during any investigation. It doesn't even have a speaker in it. Okay, so let's try this. I'm just, I'm gonna just, in theory, test something here. Okay, I'm gonna set this on the Bible. I'm just gonna see what happens. Just curious. I'm gonna go black out for you guys. If you're here and you're aware of the darkness of these dolls, can you please show us a sign, make a noise, give us a visual. That blue light, if you move towards it, will actually, oh my, okay, dude, 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 dude. 
Oh my God, dude, it's coming right towards us. Oh! Did you hear that? I did. Oh my God, dude, dude, dude. That, oh, dude, it's, it's going around again. Dude, that came right to us. That directionally, you guys, came from this direction right to us. And then I heard that hiss and I'm like, I am on edge. Like I am feeling the chill. You did hear that? I did. Yeah, definitely heard the hiss. Yes. If that was you, can you please make that noise again? Do you hear voices? Like very faintly. I don't feel like we're alone, bro. If you are evil or if you're dark, if you're dark, know that you have no power over us whatsoever. You have nothing over that of light. You will not be able to harm us. You will not be able to possess us. You will not be able to follow us. You. That was, that was standing up. Dude, I just, I don't feel like. Was that seat just like that? I thought I just. Like tape on the, the seat or something like that. So let's, I'm just gonna do a, a visual of these chairs. Okay, so we got the experiment on that. So we're just gonna keep an eye on that. Okay, so with that said, if you are here and you're present, give us a sign that you are aware of our presence and that you know that we are here. What was that? Oh my, dude, I'm not, look at that, dude. That is. That is freaking, that's, that's up again. I heard that though. Dude, okay, dude, check that out. I showed that. That one was midpoint. These are up. Half of them are down, half of them are up. Uh, something, I don't know, man. I just feel like, I don't, ugh. What do you think we should call on? If you're here, I wanna see you. I wanna physically see you if you're here and that you are the energy that we're experiencing, I visually want to see you, not through the equipment, not through any noises, I want to see you. Show me your presence, show me that you're here. Give me that. I'm gonna try to turn this light up a bit so we can see just everything. Show me a sign. I thought I saw eyes up there, but I'm pretty sure it's just a reflection. Maybe a glitter or something like that. What was that? It was me. Oh, you okay? I saw something in there. You did? I thought I saw a shadow in there. Dude, that's where Swamp Witch kept seeing a shadow. That's where Tyler said he saw a shadow. And I saw one in there earlier. You did? Uh-huh. At the beginning of the investigation, I saw one in there. I just, I don't know, dude. Something just, I, as much as I want to think we're safe, I don't think whatever's attached to me is good. I feel, 
I feel dark, bro. I feel dark. I feel really dark. I feel really angry. Like, I... I don't know. <sighs> Before that continues, maybe we ought to get there, get up there and get that taken care of. Can we do that once we set... Like, let's leave the camera here with these guys. Can yeah. we go up there and do that? Yeah. Look, there it goes again. Dude, that was not that... That does not make sound. That was right over there, dude. Can you get Bennett? Go grab Bennett. Yeah. I, I need to ask her something because that yeah. periscope is her baby. She knows so much yeah. about that. That does not make noise, you guys. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Corey. Corey, sorry. Yeah, okay. Did you take one of the other Rayvac lights? I, this is, so this is my black light, okay? This, hold up, hold up, stay right there. Don't come up here yet. This was the one that rolled. There was two flashlights right there. And now the flashlight that was right there, we've only got two of these, is over here. Bennett? Does your periscope make noise? Nope. Not at it has time. been making scratching noises. Like. It better not be breaking. You thinking it's breaking? I've never heard it make scratching noises before. It's quite. It doesn't it, make, it, it doesn't up, have it, any noise to it, but we keep hearing scratching and it's coming from that direction. Are you sure it's the periscope? I don't know. It's coming from that area. It was making that sound when I was holding it too. Oh. Um, can you go get the speaker out of the backpack and let's, Mike's gonna, Corey, sorry. Corey. Corey, yes. Corey is going to do something for me. What's the matter? I told, him what, I told I, him what Swamp Witch said about Malenko and me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. So he's gonna cleanse, he's gonna do something. Um, can you grab that speaker? So guys, as um, as Bennett grabs that really quick, I need to talk to you guys um, about something here. Switch this around. Um, as we do this investigation, as we do these investigations, it's so important that you guys are um, part of it. We appreciate the gifters. We appreciate the moderators. We appreciate everybody that tunes in to the Friday Night Lives. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be spending a lot of time with... Um, come over here, Corey. I want you in this, too, okay. if, if you're cool with it. We're going to spend a lot of time with um, Swamp Witch tomorrow. We're going to do some of her TikToks. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, I appreciate you. But as we do this stuff, it, it, it does take its toll. And I've been dealing with some pretty dark stuff that I probably shouldn't have. The Dybbuk box that I purchased about a month ago, um, I've opened it. I acclimated it at the Anson Call House of all places. And I opened it. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it wasn't sealed. I was just told that it needed to be sealed. Well, I'm a curiosity seeker. I always have been. And so I opened the box um, to review the contents of the inside of it. And it's dark stuff, I'm not gonna lie. So I took it to the Anson Call House after last Saturday's break-in and then I, I fixed it, uh, fixed the door and, and we got that all taken care of. But then I took the Dybbuk box inside the um, devil, the oh, satanic, what? There was a freaking white mass inside of that door. Which one? The, freak, the one right there. So there was a white mass. White we gotta mass. get out of here. So I've, 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 unfortunately, I've unlocked something that I definitely should not have done. Oh I put Malenko in there, and now all hell is breaking loose. Um, I need you to set that up for me. 
Phasma? Yes, please. Um, so Corey has agreed to, uh, he's brought, so can I tell him what it is? Or would you rather, the, the stuff you brought? It's, it's uh, basically uh, uh, an anointment, kind of a, uh, it's using consecrated oil and uh, just kind of giving you a blessing. Okay. Uh, from protection from evil, uh, from you know anything that's ailing you right at the moment. Yes. So Thank it's you. supposed to be covering. It's supposed to have a, a you know total overall covering. What was that? That was on the friggin' stage. Did you hear that whisper? Is that whistle? No, I just heard tapping though. So you're gonna you're gonna yeah. you're gonna put the oil on me. You're gonna yeah. bless me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. You want to do that off camera? You said yes. it's best to do. Yeah, it's better. So to do I'm gonna leave you guys with Malenko here in a second. <clears throat> as um, we do that, we're gonna set up the phasma box. Um, as always, do not look into Malenko's eyes. Um, last week we had a viewer that wanted to remain anom anonymous. That her nose started bleeding. She passed out. Her father found her. Um, a couple hours later, and she said it looked like a crime scene. She said it was the most horrific thing, and she attributes that to staring at Malenko. Now, um, we're not here to change anybody's beliefs, foundations, religious structures, anything like that. Um, but we are here to bring you on these journeys with us. So the gifts that you guys give us help us get into new locations. So thank you all the gifters. Thank you to the moderators. We'll be back in a minute. We're going to leave you with Malenko. But as I say... We hold no responsibility whatsoever for Malenko um, or what transpires once he is unmasked. Um, it is a totem of, of voodoo nature. It's dark. Bennett, are you okay? Bennett, are you okay? No, I'm fine. What's wrong? I just feel a little weird. There we go. Up there in a second. So as, as we leave you guys with this... Um, if you see anything, please let us know. Staff at paranosis.com. Uh, our beacon, you can order merchandise. That helps us also get into locations. Um, some of us will be going to the ParaUnity uh, Vegas convention next week. So we hope to see you guys there. We're going to be doing some investigations out that way in Vegas. Um, and so we'll see you guys Wednesday. But before we do that, don't leave yet. Please, please, please. We're going to set you alone with Malenko and the demonic dolls. Oh, man, my head is like killing me right now. And I'm going to do an experiment. Uh, I'm going to really confused all of a sudden. We're going to do an experiment with the Dybbuk box and the Holy Bible. So uh, as that happens... Please watch and view at your own risk. Beware of the stare. What you're about to see is real. This is where I invite you to turn out your lights, lock your doors, turn off your TVs, turn your cell phones on airplane mode. Look at where your battery is on your phone here in a second. And as Malenko's unmasked, listen very clear, closely. Pay attention to your surroundings. Things will happen. It's, it's happened for... Uh, years now with Malenko so it's it's dark I'm not gonna lie to you um and look at all the trolls getting kicked off <laughs> uh that's good we don't want the trolls so thank you to the moderators for keeping this clean thanks for everybody for being mature thanks for the gifts like I said we'll be back in a minute um I'm gonna have um Corey do the anointment and and kind of bless me there so we're gonna set up some equipment I love you thank you so much for the butterflies and please send your, th your prayers and thoughts with me as, uh, as I will be taking Malenko back to the office tonight and after Swamp Witches, um, yeah, after Swamp Witches visual, I'm a little, I'm a little sketched out right now, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, give me a second, we're gonna set this up. And I do have my onk. And then I do have this um, rosary. Um, from Quentin Tarantino's wife. Thank you for sending that. I appreciate that. That's mad respect. So give us a second. We'll set some equipment up. We're going to light some candles. And once Malenko is masked, you guys, please, um, it is no joke. Like, legit, it is no joke whatsoever. So um, heed the warnings. Oh, whoops, I forgot to search that over. Did she get... That not going? 
Then it's open. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Let me see if I can actually. Did that just say Bennett? It did. Did it just really say Bennett? No kidding. Either Bennett or hey. Is that too loud? No. Um, one second though. We'll put the speaker right by that. I just need to. I want. I want to be able to get the. Q. Okay, so um, let me grab a couple things really quick. Do we want to put the periscope back in there? On the, um, let me show you where I'm thinking of putting it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some things with the Bible. Gotcha. I want an experiment done with the Dybbuk box. Which is very dark, the Dybbuk. What? And then I want to see if it is repelled by the power of Christ and all things holy with the Holy Bible. I just want to see if anything happens with that. So I am going to set you there. So it can communicate like that. If you're here, I'm setting up some devices that you can be able to manipulate easily. They won't take much effort. They will simply just take your presence. Wait, what the hell? What was that? I thought I saw someone walking down the aisle. Is there anyone up there? Dude, no one better be in here. Seriously, I thought I saw someone walking down the aisle. No, I don't see anybody. No. Okay, so I'm going to set up a couple mag lights. If you wish to communicate with the mag lights, if you're a child entity and you're not familiar with these other devices, the mag lights might be a good way for you to communicate as well. Remember, I'm going to unmask Malenko here momentarily. So as I do that, jeez. I'm a little apprehensive to light candles just because of what happened um, at the Anson Call House, as you guys might remember. So some of these are <laughs> Thank you. Set that there. Um, <clears throat> in front of the Bible, if you will. Okay. This one? Yeah, maybe. This one doesn't seem that's what burnt skin smells like, by the way. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You're um, Mike. Mike. What? That's a no, that's a tie. I'm thinking. Which Mike? Burgers. You serious? Trying to treat you. That's kind of disturbing a little bit. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and right. treat us. Yeah, treat us to a spectacle here. Yeah, right. Um, let's see, what else? Let's get the... Uh, Set up the uh, remember, guys, you don't look into Malinko's eyes uh, once we get Malinko set up. That's <coughs> should go off. Okay, that's good. Let's get um, the music box. You all right? Yeah, I just got some. 
This matter? It's got some burps. Okay. Big. Want a K2 with it at all? Or? Yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, I want to try something here in just a second. No, Okay, does, can you see that in that shot? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see you the can? light there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's set that there. Um, let's grab this lighter. Quick. Let me see. Can I see the box here? Let's go. A couple of things. Um, right now, I'm just gonna take the K2 and I'm gonna put it by the first holy Bible. Not getting anything um, over here. Okay, so we're getting some. So we're getting some off and. So, oh, whoa, that went to red. Did you see that? That went to red. That did. Okay, now let's take it over by install. Oh, whoa, that's too. got that's got activity oh. too. I'm trying not to put it too close to Malenko because there is that it's power source that. there. So. She's like, Whoa! I think it's like from. Whoa, dude, the Dybbuk box. Whoa. That's a Oh, red. Wow. By the Bible. Nothing. Nothing by the Bible. That is a trip. That, I'm, that's cool. Like, that to me is saying something um so we're gonna set you up little fella whoops probably not right there right there now folks i am going to open the dybbuk box for your protection i'm not going to open the dybbuk box towards you the viewers but towards malenko and my experiment with the holy bible So I'm gonna put the whole. Oh, I don't want that book to burn. That'd be bad on me. That'd be really not good. So I'm gonna move you, young lady, right here. This is what. Well, okay, that did not trigger that. This is what messed me up, guys. Uh, this is nothing you should ever play with. That's going off, dude. And I'm nowhere like I'm nowhere near it. I'm clear over here. Is that you when I talk about the Dybbuk box? Are you angry that I'm going to expose you? Oh, that did not sound good, dude. Oh, that does not like sound good. Okay, so 1920s um, Dybbuk box here. I'm gonna open it. Um, remember, if you want to win this Dybbuk box, um, simply staff at paranosis.com. Tell me what you think are in the what is on the inside of this Dybbuk box. Okay, and uh, it's a 1920s. Dybbuk box, okay. Um, I will say there's nothing electric on this Dybbuk box, but it obviously, it holds energy. It holds energy in it. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, dude! That's going off again. I'm gonna set that right out of the way of darkness. Screw it, I'm gonna put it on a doll. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. All right, guys. 
Um, Getting the camera. Getting the camera. Dude, I'm getting like a sick feeling. Like, no joke whatsoever. Here, do you want to hold these? Um, we ready to head out? We are. Yeah, let's get. Um, let's get you cleaned up. Okay, one second. Let me grab. Let me grab my other flashlight. All right, uh, dude, right when I grabbed her, did you hear that say Jesus? Right when I grabbed the nun doll, it said Jesus. I am not kidding you. Did you hear that? Are you afraid of what Jesus will do to you? So guys, we're gonna send you. I'm gonna leave you with Malenko. Dude, everything's like going weird now. Like everything's starting to happen. Dude, okay. So, as promised, I am going to open the Dybbuk box. I am going to unmask Malenko. Remember, you guys, this is no joke. Do not look into Malenko's eyes. This is no joke. This is for your safety. It is not a joke. It is not nothing to be played with. When Malenko is unmasked. Let me just aim that at him a little bit. Okay. It's no joke. I'm not kidding. Do not, do not look into Malenko's eyes. It's not worth your safety being diminished. All right, you ready to do this? Hey guys, two, uh, 20 second warning. I'm gonna unmask Malenko. Do not look into his eyes. This is a protection relic to distract you. This will bring you good luck. Uh, I do not hold any responsibility for anything that Malenko uh, will do. If you do have something happen, please go to staff at paranosis.com and send us pictures, tell us anything that has happened to you, if anything has happened at all. Um, again, this is no joke. Uh, this is darkness. Um, proceed at your own risk. Fresh on everything. Is that 
again. Shot. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to open the Dybbuk box. Oh, dude, that is not good. Mm, that even that even stinks, dude. That even stinks. I'm gonna move these away from that because I don't want that. Dude, did you notice as soon as that opened what's going on here? Core? I did. That is like going Red nuts. Going off? Yeah. yeah, that's like not good. It's like something escaped and now it's... Yes. I'm getting the impression it escaped and now it's just swirling around. Yeah, and like for sure. So um, beware of the stare. That's not a joke. That is not a myth, you guys. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm literally sick. Oh, I'm literally sick. I want it. I want his face lit. Gosh, it won't even stay. Media working. Make it work. Did you hear that, dude? That is like we just got to get out of here. I just let's yeah, just. Let's I on. just have to cut my losses right now. You ready? Yeah. Set up. Let's get out of here. I
Pop. Oh, my gosh. 
choosing. Yeah, um, wow. mm, I, I'm not feeling good. Ben, you all right? No, I don't feel good. I didn't feel good the last time. Um,
Is it okay? Yeah. Don't look. That's not. Don't look. That's cool. You ain't. You ain't looking. Don't look. Oh, even Malenko's moved. That just said. Yeah, did that just really say worried. Malenko though? Nothing. Nothing good here going. I don't know what you did, but it's not right. Yeah. Um. Thanks for doing that. Oh. Sounded like paper ripping. Yeah, we saw the Maliko turn again. Oh. Oh. The Bible looks like it's in good shape. Yeah. Uh -huh. You okay, Ben? There's some freaking shit moving in. What? There's. Yeah, I know. I think we got it. I think I think it's time to. Yeah, oh yeah. See. It's getting dark, like along the right side of the living room. Yeah, where the cowboy is. Anyway? Yeah. What is it? I keep seeing that too. I over there. It's standing over there. Well, they're on both doors. Yeah. Oh. But after what happened in theater two, I think we gotta. I say we, we yeah. get out of here with like that. Being sad. Yeah. I just I don't feel I don't feel right about it. I don't feel good about it. I don't. I, I the experiment proved to be true. Um, yeah, let's let's get up here and close this out, Bennett. Let, yeah, let's go this way. Actually, let's go this way. Over there. What way do you want to go? Not there. Okay. Um, let's Not let's close there. this out. Be careful there. Um, in the name of all things holy, in the name of all things love, in the name of all things light, you have no power over us. You cannot harm us. You cannot follow us. You are energy. We are human. We have physical bodies. We have physical presence. You cannot, will not harm or touch us. The flashlight just turned on. You will stay bound to these dolls, bound to Malenko. What is it? What's going on? What's going on? You okay? Dude, what's up? No. What was it? I just saw something like... Dude, you look like as white as a ghost, dude. Something just like loomed, st stood up and loomed over me in there. So I was trying to put that room away. Okay, you, yeah, we, in the name of all things love, in the name of all things holy, in the name of all things, yeah, dude, like I say, we just have to, like, we have to, we have to bounce, like, this yeah. isn't, you know I have never mean? seen anything like that before, that was, what? It's starting to. Yeah, something, something's not like all of a sudden like something good. Yeah. That? that said gotcha. That just said gotcha. And that, that freaking flashlight turned on as soon as that said gotcha. Okay, guys, so we're going to, we're going to head out. Um, that, that's enough for us. Um, hey. Mike? Yeah. Corey, sorry. Where's... Where's the nun doll, dude? I put it on the Bible. Um, put the nun doll on the freaking Bible. I don't know. I thought it was here. Oh. My. Dude. What the... Don't even touch that. That's not. No, I'm not touching it. That's. How did that get up there? Um. That's not. No. Dude, like how the. That was right. Like how the. Oh my god, dude. Did you not just. Okay, let's get out of here. Yep, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Jesus. Dude, come on! Go. Bennett, go, go! We're done. Bennett! The hell's wrong with her? Come on, Bennett, let's get out of here. This is too much.
Something is up with that. Like, that is not good. That is not good. That is not good. That is not good. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I haven't felt right since I went in there to help with the plasma box. I'm just... Does she... I'm you need like to... You, low energy. You, yeah. You're zero. You're zero. What's up? Well, I feel like I have energy, but I'm just... Yeah, you sound like you got, like... No, you sound like a cheerleader right now. Like, legit, I thought you were a cheerleader because you're like... Um, I, I came in and uh, uh, you sound like uh, Chris, Christopher Watkins or, or something, you know? Uh, uh, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you do what you did to me? Yeah. To her? Get her out. She's, something's not up. Something's not right. Bennett, you okay? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Uh, it's been a treat. It's been dark. It's been, please. Yeah, please. She's something's up. Like something. She's not Bennett. That's not Bennett. She's screaming and jumping up and down. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is not Bennett. She's very subdued. That's not Bennett. I would say she's very subdued. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, yeah, dude, let's, yeah, let's do that. Do you want a cleansing? Uh, summon, I'm going to go outside. Can you let me in in a second? Yeah, cleanse her, yeah. dude, like let's bathe clean. her in that stuff. Neil, I'm going to knock in a second. Right. So, you know, here's the deal, you guys. Do not try what we just tried. It's not. It's not worth the darkness that um, invokes the soul. Okay, uh, what I did with the Divic box was was stupid. Do not try that. I do not advise it. Um, I'm a little apprehensive to even give that out to anybody. I, if I'm being honest with you, nobody's guessed the contents of it right. I'm thinking of burning that um, box tomorrow. Um, thanks to Swamp Witch, thanks to the moderators, thanks to everybody that tuned in tonight for making everybody, uh, for making this live what it is. And if you're not following Paranosis, please follow Paranosis. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like this, this has affected us on levels that are, are, are too, it's too much. It's too dark. It's too deep right now. Um, Please say a prayer for us, um, for Bennett, uh, for all of us. Uh, I mean, Corey's got two hours to drive home. Merck's got an hour and a half. We've got 45 minutes to get up to the office. Um, And if there's any truth to what Swamp Witch said she felt, uh, thank you for the popcorn and and the butterflies. Um, I'm terrified to get in the car tonight because of what she said to the point she was even crying. So please say a prayer for me. I, I don't want to put any energy into that, but please say a prayer uh, for the team. Uh, we'll be taking Swamp Witch around to some locations tomorrow. So if you do not have the notifications set uh, for Paranosis, please set the notifications because we will be going live throughout the day tomorrow. Um, throughout Salt Lake. We're going to go to the Ensign Call House. We're going to take her to Kay's Cross. We're going to take her to Lost and Found. We've got a full day of paranormal investigating in the day uh, with Swamp Witch. So um, I want to make sure that that happens. Merck, come here, bro. Is she okay? Bennett. I can find her. Oh, okay. So he's he's in there with her. Um, Please say uh, say a prayer. Um, for the team leaving. Thanks to everybody. Uh, Caitlin. They, dot group. I mean, you guys. Thanks to all the moderators, Aunt, man. Aunt Steffi's going about the three pizzas. What? Aunt Steffi about those three pizzas. Aunt Steffi, thank you so much for buying the pizzas. Mm, thank you so much. Um, what we didn't eat, we're going to take out to some of the uh, homeless camps that we've driven by down here on Main Street um, in Tooele. So thank you so much for the gifts. Uh Please stay tuned. We'll see you guys from Las Vegas Paracon, Para Unity. 
um, convention next Friday night. Be sure to tune in uh, Wednesday at 8.30 Mountain Standard Time. Um, Wednesday, so we can do a QA. and a uh, We'll do a follow-up on everybody. Um, but tomorrow, like I said, if you're not following Paranosis, please follow us. Please smash that like button. Comment. Help us raise our algorithm so we can spread this. And now that we've dealt with the darkness, we're going to deal with a lot more light through through the Christmas season. Uh, we're going to start looking into, you know, p- potentially uh, communicating with spirits uh, like angels and so forth. So, um, please, I don't even know what to say. I just say a prayer. Uh, give yourself love and light. Um, thank you all. I, I'm beyond flattered for the gifters, for the moderators, for, um, for everybody watching. If you've had anything happen tonight, um, during any of the dark times and I'm still showing, man, that I'm going. See, I'm getting glasses and stuff, right? So I'm still going, but Merck's just showing that I'm like dead, paused. (laughs) I don't get it. But please follow us. Um, Stay curious, my friends. Um, Remember, hunger does not discriminate, so. Again, we appreciate everything that you guys do. We appreciate everything that you guys are to us. Um, I was going to say something intelligent, but it's just like slipped my mind. So I guess I have nothing intelligent to say. Do you, have, to my life. Do, you, do you have anything you want to say, bro, on no. closing this out? Thanks for everybody who came out and watching us. I appreciate everything, especially all the, the gifts and the food and the love and yeah. the attention. You guys are like phenomenal. Did you, is she good? She'll be okay. Yeah, she going to be all right? Be okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was acting really weird. And thanks for doing that for me, too. Oh, yeah. Um, You guys, please, please be safe in whatever you're doing tonight. Spread the love like peanut butter. Thank you, guys. Huh? No, that was sick. That was sick. No, that is illegal in the state of Utah. (laughs) Get it out of here before I call the police. We love you guys. Thanks for the butterflies. You know what that means to me. Um, I would get out of here before I call the police. We love you guys. Thanks for the butterflies. You know what that means to me. Um, I would stay live, but literally I've got 5% on the phone. It's about to die. But check it out. Thanks for the rocking squirrel or monkey or whatever it is. Uh, We are going to be live tomorrow throughout the day with Swamp Witch as we go to some of the locations with her. So if you're not following us, follow us. If you don't have your notifications set, set your notifications. Um... And I'm going to destroy that Dibbit box tomorrow. So I'm going to do that live. I, I'm not giving it out. No way am I going to release that into another person's uh, home. I just wouldn't feel right about it. So um, we will destroy the Dibbit box tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the emails. Thanks for everything you've sent. Uh,